evening, and welcome to the final Friday night paper fight of 2022. I'm Serge. We got a Wheeler. Thank you for having me, Serge. It's great to be here. Did you like that dramatic pause and somehow implying there would never be another Friday night paper fight ever again? But then I said of 2022 and you could just see the relief wash across the whole room. The whole room? The I thought whole... I was going to have my Friday nights back. What do you mean, <laughs> relief? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Oh, it's fine. No, we're going to keep having to play magic indefinitely. Come on, Wheeler. It's time to draft again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, James. I'll play your popper cue. Yeah. I've updated uh, it again. Uh, more jump start yeah. for the content machine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight here at the Loading Ready Run Omega Entertainment Network. Of course, the Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by you, your support of the Patreon over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. And the Friday Night Paper Fight is sponsored by the wonderful people over at Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com slash LRR. That's an affiliate code. If there are singles that you see us playing tonight and you want to own them, use that affiliate code. It lets them know that we sent you and that is good for us and ideally also for you. And they also have a very festive button uh, that says, a pox upon the auto shuffler. Auto tapper. A pox upon the auto tapper a as well. A pox upon the auto tapper. What are we doing? I just do this for Card Kingdom because <laughs> it looks like the logo kind of. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Your, your crenellation. Mm-hmm. Excellent. All right, uh, tonight, it's just the two, well, it's the three of us. I was going to say it's the two of us, but of course we have the wonderful Paul on tech. Hello. And our plan is Canadian Highlander by way of Judge's Tower, or Judge's Tower by way of Canadian Highlander, one of the two. Yeah, three hours of Judge's Tower. Too much. Especially after all the holiday stress and stuff. Yeah. Not happening. And not we happening. wanted to, we could do three hours of Canlander, easy peasy, any day, but they easy. wanted to do something a little different for the holidays. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is every single game of Highlander to figure out who goes first we're going to fight in Judge's Tower, and the winner of Judge's Tower uh, gets the choice of player pass. Great. So if you've never played Judge's Tower before, if you don't know how this works, uh, the rules are kind of fast and loose. So each player starts with a card based on their judge level. We're both L L1 judges, so we get one card each to start with. You have infinite mana. You have infinite life. You have to play the card as soon as you possibly can in the window. So if you have an instant... You have to play it in the first possible instance you have it. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a permanent in play and it has activated abilities, you have to use them at the first possible instance, but you only have to do it once. So if you do it in your upkeep, you don't have to do it every single phase. That's way too much. If an ability has multiple, if a card or permanent, whatever, has multiple activated abilities, activate them top to bottom in that particular order. So you have to go through all of them. Yeah, or triggered yeah. abilities. Yeah, <clears throat> so kind of figure it out that way. And the way the game ends is the first person who either makes a rules violation or misses a window of opportunity to use a card. That person loses. The other person is determined to be the winner. And then we play a game of Highlander. We did a test run where I read a card several times and then proceeded to uh, disobey the rules. <laughs> Just not know what the card did. Yeah. All right. And you're, you're both playing off one big deck here. Yes, correct. We the share a deck. We do have our own graveyards, though. There's an independent mm -hmm. graveyard. There's not a shared one there. But yeah, there's a shared library. Um, you have to play lands. Yeah. You have to activate do, abilities for but, lands. Do, do we know who put this Judge Tower together? Do we have the name of the... Person? Was this donated to us, or was this just trash? I'm that pretty we... sure we've had this for a long time that has been donated. Okay, yeah. Oh, this was sent to us. Okay. I believe it was sent to us, but I... Did, is there a name on the... I thought there was a name on the box. I'm sorry. I saw that. For Nelson. Oh, from Nick P. Oh, this is Nick. This oh. is Nick's old Judge Tower. Oh, that's very sweet. This is a member of the Victoria Highlander community, a good friend of ours, and a fellow judge. Who played... He, oh, wait. This, okay, so this is a... We he played was, this yes. on stream, too. And he would always have this before Canland. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. We're old, huh? Yep. All right. Well, high roll to see who goes first in Judge's Tower? <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, you got a seven. Uh, yep. Pretty average. Watch this. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> uh huh. Good start. All I'm right. Watching. Uh, I think it's actually my advantage. I think it's better if you go second. So yeah, what makes this a curated judge's tower is that it's all the worst cards. Yeah, yeah. It's all the the cards that you never want to see as a judge. <laughs> uh, I'll keep. I'll. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, main phase? Yeah. I'm going to cast Kiss of the Amesha. Uh, target player gains seven life and draws two cards. Oh, I'll target you. That's very rude. All right. So draw. Mm -hmm. Draw. Graveyard. Uh, I'm going to pass priority in my first main phase. Yeah, you're fine. I'll go to end my turn. Yep. All right. Upkeep. Draw step. All right. Let's go to main phase here. Christ. <laughs> what? I already have four cards in hand. This honks so hard. Uh, I, I love that, that, yeah, making your opponent draw cards is now a, diff yeah, uh, a very effective technique. Oh, it's great. All right. Okay. I'm going to start by casting Ulamog's Reclaimer. Mm -hmm. It's a five mana two five with devoid. When it enters the battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard. Uh, there's no legal target for that, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna let everything else just fizzle. Okay. What color is it? It is colorless. Okay. I'm going to cast Arachnus Web, mm -hmm. targeting the Ulamog's Reclaimer. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is an enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. At the beginning of the end step, if enchanted creature's power is four or greater, destroy it. Okay. Then, I'm going to cast Necromancer's Stockpile. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had to figure out the sequencing here because this has an activated ability to discard a creature card. Mm -hmm. I do not have a creature card in hand, so I cannot activate the ability right now. Great. Yeah. So, activated ability and part of the cost is discard a creature card. Draw a card. If the discarded creature card with a zombie card, put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token onto <clears> the battlefield <throat> tapped. Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Vampiric Rites. Okay. This is an enchantment. It has an activated ability. One in a black and sacrifice a creature. You gain one life and draw a card. Okay. I'm going to activate the ability and sacrifice a creature. Sure. I'm going to gain a life and draw a card. Okay. So, actually, sorry. The creature is going to die. The triggered ability, <laughs> the activated ability is on the stack. Yeah. Before I draw the card and activate it, state-based actions are going to go into play. <laughs> yeah. The web is going to go into the graveyard. Yeah, there Almost you go. messed that up. Draw. End step. Pass to you. Uh, upkeep. Draw. <laughs> uh, pass. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> draw step. All right. We are still in my draw step. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to activate Necromancer Stockpile to discard a creature card. Okay. So still in my draw step. I'm going to discard the Xenic Poltergeist. Mm -hmm. It has no ability when it does that. All right. So we're still on my draw step. Draw a card. It's not a zombie token, so it's not a zombie. It's a poltergeist unless it's been eradicated. Oh, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. Great. Okay. All right. Still on my draw step. I have a creature in hand. I've already activated that once, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm now in my main step. I'm going to cast Murder of Crows. It's a mm -hmm. five mana four four flying bird. Kaka. Mm -hmm. Whenever another creature dies, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. I'm going to activate Vampire Rites. Yep. To sacrifice a creature, mm -hmm. gain a life, and draw a card. Okay. Sure would be nice if you had anything to do. I'm waiting for you, bud. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's very kind of you. Pass. Uh, draw step. <laughs> I, I like that that card basically, because of the rules of Judge's Tower, that's basically, that card is an abyss. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sacrifice something every turn. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to cast Bearscape. Mm. Remove two cards in your graveyard from the game. Oh, wait, I should let you read it. Okay. Uh, remove two cards in your graveyard from the game. Put a 2-2 green bear token into play. Uh, go. Draw step. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> main phase. Pass. Draw step? <laughs> yeah. Pass. Wheeler, can you can you close your eyes for a second? <laughs> uh, can or, and actually, will. no, no, no. This is this is fine. I need an errata for a card because it's from Alliances. Okay. Um, it says counter target interrupt spell if it's blue. Blue instant. So just is it counter any blue instant? Or sorry, it is counter target. Counter target instant, instant spell if it's blue. If it's blue. Yeah. So 
Is this the one that's worded such that I can target any instant with it and it only counters it if it's blue? Or is this the one that I can only target a blue? You know what I mean? So what you're asking uh, is... How does this work? No, I can't yeah, ask you that asking crap. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the, this Chat, is the, stop no, it. No, no, no. Stop. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, the, I, yeah. Re, I am remembering this correctly. Yes. I know this card. Yeah. I know this card. I just needed to confirm it. Okay. The target is an instant. Where are we in the turn? You drew. It's your draw step. Is it your? No, I passed. You I, passed? I passed. Did I draw this? That's not for me. I mean, <laughs> I passed back to you because uh, I think this is what I drew. Okay. Draw. Yeah. I'm going to cast Soul Caesar. It's a creature. Uh, three blue, blue for a one, three flyer. When Soul Caesar deals combat damage to a player, you may transform it. If you do, attach it to target creature that player controls. Okay. Um, I'm going to then cast Gift of Immortality, uh, targeting my Soul Caesar. It's an aura that says when enchanted creature dies, return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control. Return gift of immortality from the battlefield attached to that creature at the beginning of the next end step. I'm going to hold priority <laughs> and cast a null. Uh, oh. Counter target instant or enchantment spell. Uh, I'm going to... So the stack is gift of immortality yeah, and yeah, a null. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cast burnout targeting a null. Okay. Counter target instant if it's blue. All right. Sure. So part of the resolution of this, draw a card at the beginning of your next upkeep. Sure. Okay. Um, so that resolves, and this is countered. Um, Gift of Immortality still in the stack. I'm going to pay two and exile <laughs> these two cards to uh... make a, a bear. Yep. Um, I guess. And. Don't really. Yeah, that's a sure. bear token. Um, and then Gift of Immortality resolves on this. Okay. Um, pass. Upkeep. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Yeah. Almost missed that. All right. So we're still in my upkeep. Go to the draw step. Mm -hmm. Draw step. Um, I'm going to activate Necromancer's Stockpile, discarding a creature card. I'm going to discard Masked Admirers. Mm. Yep. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay green green. If you do, return it from the green card your hand. It's okay. I'll never cast a creature spell because I've got Stockpile. Yep. All right, so that's there. We're still in the draw step. All right, we're going to go to my main phase now. Um, oh, we're putting that on there? If it's a zombie, do stuff. Okay. Yeah. Did you draw a card off that? Did you draw a card off your Necromancer stockpile? I lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. All right, I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's use all the cards we've used. Let's set yeah. aside. Yeah, just put them yeah. aside there. Wow. <laughs> I had two auras and a removal spell in hand, yeah. too, so I was already thinking about that, you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, so we both have sevens. <laughs> we both have sevens. <laughs> and uh, Wheeler gets to pick uh, player pass. I will go first. All right. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Uh, oh, do you need our deck names? <laughs> oh, right. And everything? So I've got uh, Surge on Blue Moon. Mm -hmm. And you on uh, Palcatraz? Four color Palcatraz. Oh, no. Palcatraz. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, I am going to start off with a Spire's Headquarters and Pass. Uh, I've got this Volcanic Island into Dragon Rage Channeler. Mm, okay. Oh, sorry, I got to. Uh, I, was, I had to. <clears throat> oh, has to switch the decks over. Yeah. yeah. Well, Give you half a second here, Paul. No worries. Do you mind if I explain what Palcatraz is to folks at home? Sure, yeah. Oh, well, let's see if anyone can guess it. Uh, well, I've yeah. seen people okay, that I've yeah, told yeah, in yeah, chat. Yeah. Palcatraz, uh, a deck that was coined and designed by Canadian Highlander counselor Evan Pepper. Uh, it is a <laughs> super friends slash prison deck. Um, thus, Pal yep. as in super friends and Alcatraz as in the prison. Are you are you wild firing and getting in people? Because that's like the classic. No, that's the thing. We play good cards now. So what you do? <laughs> I mean, he, okay. This is the way I'll describe it. Um, we cut some of the boomer stacks cards that I love dearly as uh -huh, well. Uh huh. Uh, and replace them with Planeswalkers because Planeswalkers are also stacks pieces. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. Interesting. I like, you had, uh, what was your hot take? 
Uh, prison is actually very viable right now, but all you need to play is crop rotation and tabernacle. Yeah, you just play the good <laughs> stuff instead yeah. of like Mishra's Helix. And yeah. Whatnot. Anyways, uh, Dragon Reed Channeler, yep. pass. God, I'm going to start thinking this like Judge's Tower too. Be like, yeah. ah, ah. Uh, Seed of the Synod. Yeah. And I will play a Talisman of Progress. Yeah. Uh, and I will cast a Sensei's Divining Top. And I will pass. Mm. And that's okay. Man, no, top's fine. Go ahead. Ooh. I'm going to play a Wooded Foothills. Mm -hmm. um, crack it down to... I'm going to shortcut a little bit here. Sure. Uh, crack it down to 19. Mm -hmm. And grab this third path iconoclast. Oh, yeah. Um, and let's get ourselves just a basic mountain for mm -hmm. that one. Um, and then I'm going to hit you for one. 19. Oh, 19. Oh, 19. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, untap. Yeah. Upkeep, I'm going to... Oh, upkeep spin, spin top. top. Yeah. I was thinking of countering it just to make the game go faster. <laughs> uh, Misty Rainforest. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Would you like to cut? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. I'm going to play a uh, Fiery Islet. I'll put it on there because it's got an activated ability. This mm -hmm. is the Cycle Land. Is lit. It's so lit. Gamers. <laughs> okay. Uh, as chat points out, uh, the Judge's Tower, while not on camera, the shadow. still casts a shadow <laughs> <laughs> on the proceedings. Uh, I'd like to rumble. Yeah. Hit you for three. I go to six. Um, I'd, I'd like you to uh, crack your fetch land because I'm casting a Magus of the Moon. I will do that. <laughs> I go to 18 as well. Yeah. I will crack my fetch land. All right. <clears throat> Look at this one, two, three. That's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get a basic island. I mean, I guess. And then that Magus <laughs> is fine. Check it out. I got red, red, red. Hell yeah. <laughs> you also don't have an island anymore. Mm-hmm. I see you too have noticed. Wait, oh, you've got an island. And a turn, I'm going to flash in a hull breacher. You're going to flash in a hull breacher. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Untap. Draw. Hmm. Going to pay... Awkward. Um, one, two, red, red, three. Uh, eh. I'm gonna play deserted temple, which I guess is. <laughs> <laughs> gonna play this basic mountain. Sorry, I got into the eggnog. Yeah. Uh, play this mountain. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> uh, one, two, three. Play a Sahili sublime artifice. I'm gonna respond. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Force of Will, mm. uh, Exiling the Vendillion Clique. Okay. I've got two triggers. Mm -hmm. I've got Dragon Rage Channeler. Um, I, I'm going to do the easy one first. I make a 1-1. One, one. Sure. And then <clears throat> I get to Surveil? Yep. Uh, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard if you want to. I'll leave it on top. Um, then I'm going <clears throat> to cast a Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, Lantern control. Yeah, the camera hates this one. Uh, on ETB, it's going to exile your Force of Will. And then uh, I can tap it, crack to exile your graveyard, or pay one tap, crack to draw a card. This is a problem for my Dragon's Rage channel. It'll at least It'll never it get big enough. Go ahead. All right, <clears throat> untap, untap, untap. Guess what I left on top? A bolt? A basic? A basic. Basic island. Mm -hmm. You can try to draw another one if you want. I think I'm happy to trade this. Uh, take two. Yeah, I thought so. Pass. Mm. May I read this? Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend top. You draw a card except for the first 
draw each turn. Instead, you create a treasure token. Sure, okay. <clears throat> You're spinning top. This is end step? This is yeah. end step, yeah, yeah, yeah. spinning top. I don't think Surge paid a life for the forest. Correct! Actually, sorry, that's incorrect. I paid one life off of the wooded foothills, and I paid one life off of Force of Will, which is why I'm at 18. I haven't taken it. Oh, no, you're right. 17. I should be at 17. You are, in fact, correct. I said incorrect, but you were right. I'm drawing this card for turn. Uh, sorry. Um, oh, for or turn. You, yeah, for yeah, turn. yeah, 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 yeah. I was scolding chat for being right. Hey, chat, stop being correct. It's <clears throat> a bad look for us, yeah, the streamers. Yeah. Um... I'm going to cast Expressive Iteration. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, yabba dabba do. <laughs> I'm going to put this card in my hand. I'm going to exile a welding jar. Oh, baby. And put this on the bottom. Uh, I'd like to cast welding jar. Resolves. I'd like to cast Retrofitter Foundry. I'm going to have to look at that one. Yeah, yeah. Untap Retrofitter Foundry. Oh, this one's a problem. Mm -hmm. I don't have a hard counter, though. Well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and I will pass. End step. Um, this is just a basic mountain now. Uh, my own hull breacher. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's doing nothing, all no. right? <laughs> uh, draw for the turn. You have two mana available. Mm -hmm. If I attack with a creature, you can pay two to make a 1-1 one, one servo creature token. Uh, do you have the ability to untap it yet? No, because you need no. that from your lands. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I getting any advantage out of having this Magus of the Moon in play. I think I am. I think shutting off that land by itself is enough value. It's pretty annoying. Yeah, that's good for me. Uh, in which case, I'm going to attack with my Hull Breacher and my third path, Iconoclast. I'm, I think I'm happy to trade Hull Breachers as the Blue Moon deck. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to activate Retrofitter Foundry. Yep. Making a servo. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to trade. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think that your deck has more ways of getting rid of my Hull Breacher than I have of getting rid of your Hull Breacher. Mm -hmm. uh, second main, go. <clears throat> Draw. This is a huge problem. I me. drew my Wheel of Fortune. Oh. I mean, I guess it didn't matter, <laughs> but... You drew a Wheel of Fortune. I mean, you don't know that. Man, that'd be so good if I had saved it. Karn Living Legacy. Remand. Okay. Um, did you do that? I mean, you drew that a That should be first, yeah. So I will just say I kept it on sure, top. Sure, sure. Because it's a card I'm happy yeah. to have. Uh, okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, swing with the Magus of the Moon and the Soldier Token. I go to town. Crap, he's gonna upgrade them. He's gonna upgrade them! <laughs> Karn, eh? Mod, eh? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put this uh, basic mountain in play tapped. Sure. Is this your first game with the new sleeves? Yes. Yeah, how's, it, how's it feel? Uh, oh, so clean. I feel are they, powerful. Are they like slipping a little bit? Uh, untap. It's a mountain. When it enters the battlefield tapped, unless you control three or more, isn't that a replacement ability, though? Because, uh, like, Rav Duels... No? Untap. It does enter... Oh, it change. does it? Oh, that was the Ixalan change. Yeah. I'm thinking of the old changes, aren't I? That's a basic mountain. Blood Sodden change. Right. There was a time when it would enter play tapped, yeah. though. There is a time where that would have changed. Back in my day. Back in my day! You dang whippersnappers! Good thing this wasn't Judge Tower. 
I knew yeah, I about lost. I knew about Layer Seven before you were even seven years old. That might scarily be true. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. So I am really worried about that Karn. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm actually going to cast uh, Serum Vision right now. Okay. Now moving forward. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stop reminding you of Dragon's Rage Chandler. It is it is so hard for people to to catch it, admittedly. Yeah, that'll be the last warning. That's fine. <laughs> um, I'll leave um, top bottom. Okay, but you just put that card in your hand. You slide of hand. It's the top card. Yeah, that one. That's Holy okay. crap. <laughs> Don't good worry. Lord. We're good, we're uh, good. I have four different card types. Delirium is active. Yep. Like I said, Judge's Tower fried my brain, my dude. Yeah. Go. Uh, spin top. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy moly. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Untap. Draw. Uh, white. Uh, blue and a red. I go to nine. I'm going to cast Prismatic Ending for three, targeting your Magus of the Moon. Yes. This might be wrong, but I think I need to get that off the board for me to start doing degenerate stuff. I'll pass. Did you take damage? I took damage off this. Yeah, I went to yeah. nine. Uh, end step. Price of progress. I did not expect that. Yeah, I take six. Yeah. I go to three. Yeah. And you take... One, two... I also take six. I go to 14. Okay. Nope. No, I was at 17. I go to 11. I can math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so one and crack that exiles my graveyard? No, just crack it exiles the graveyard. One cool. and crack it, draw a card. Okay. Uh, also end step. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to crack the fiery islet. Sure. I know I said I'd stop reminding nope, you, but... No, nope, that's fair. That's fair. I missed it again. I missed it again. It's okay. I wanted that card anyways. I wanted that card anyways. Great, great. Because yeah, I left it on top. I keep all my best cards God, on God, I'm so good at this game, man. Uh, all it's right. all Draw a step. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, speaking of which, uh, is the, the Dragon Rage Channeler, is it Delirium Online? Yes, okay. it is currently a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, but Wheeler can... That, we were just talking about the interaction. Wheeler can crack it at that point. All right, uh, I attack you with a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to activate Retrofitter Foundry. Yeah, make a 1-1. One, one. Make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Uh, wherever my servo token went, yeah. I'll just do this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to block, or sorry, before blocks, I'm going to crack this yeah. to exile your graveyard. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to block the DRC. Yeah, all right, so you take one, you go to two. Yeah. Am I going to get shocked? Fork I'm bolt. I'm going to get fork bolt. Oh, no. <laughs> Man. Imagine if uh, imagine if I'd played my cards right too. No, I don't. I yep. don't want to. I don't want to. I was hoping to do the opposite of the still had all these. I'm being like, wow, I played no, that God, poorly. No, God, please, please do so. <laughs> yeah, that one, two, three is really difficult to yeah to come yeah. out from if I don't have like an academy hand. Man, Dragon Rage Channeler. It's what pretty, a card. It's a pretty good magic card. Yeah. Holy moly. So now we have to play another game of Rage <laughs> Tower? Yeah, just to add the more <sighs> mental burden to our brains here, so, you know? Yeah, yeah is, it, is it between games or between matches? Every single game between. <laughs> between ga the win right. Yeah, 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 the winner. I shouldn't be shuffling this deck. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, and we'll give the disadvantage to the person who wins the game, plays first on Judge's Tower. Okay, I think it's... Oh, do you think draw is the disadvantage? Yeah, because you have more cards. That's fair. All right, I'll be on the draw for that. All right. Uh, I'll keep. <laughs> keep. Well, we should give Paul. Uh, right. I just realized uh, I should just have them both loaded at the same time. Okay. okay. Here we go. <clears throat> I'll cast Pure Reflection. Uh, three mana enchantment. Whenever a player plays a creature spell, destroy all reflections. Then that player puts a white reflection creature token into play with power toughness equal to the converted mana cost of that spell. Whenever a player casts a creature spell. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, draw step. Mm -hmm. Main phase. Um, I'm going to cast a creature. I'm going to cast Diviner Spirit. Trigger. This is still on the stack. Yep. <clears throat> so I get it? 
Whenever a player casts a creature spell, destroy reflections, then that player mm -hmm. creates, okay, creates a XX white reflection creature token where X is the mana value of the spell. Destroy reflections and that player creates. Okay, so this is a 5-5? Five five? Yeah. You no longer have a you no longer have a thing. All right, so we'll go back to you. I got nothing. You're casting that. What do you mean you got nothing? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? The, it just says destroy all the reflections, and that should be in no, the graveyard now. No, you destroy everything and then make a thing. This isn't no reflections as in creature types. This isn't a reflection. Destroy all reflections as in the creature type reflections. Oh, do I lose because I questioned you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you word it like that, no, it's fine. I'll okay. Work. It's a symmetrical effect. Okay, no, hold on. I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not done. Because this is still resolving. Okay. So now this resolves. Then I'm going to cast Act of Treason targeting my Diviner Spirit. Yeah. So I gain control of it until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste. Attack you. Okay. Uh, I take two. Yeah. And then what's this... Uh... When a deal is coming damage to a player, you and that player each draws that many cards. Okay. All right. Great. So uh, it's a symmetrical effect, active player, non-active player. It's a triggered ability. Mm -hmm. Who draws first? Uh, you do. All right. One second. Oh, my God. All right. Second main. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast. Jesus, I'm going to cast Fractured Loyalty, mm -hmm. uh, targeting the Diviner Spirit. Enchant creature. Whenever enchanted creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, that spell or ability's controller gains control of enchanted creature. Okay. <clears throat> Pass. Draw. I am going to cast Mind Raker, trigger, <laughs> destroy all reflections, and I get a, a reflection. And then when this comes into play, uh, I can put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's uh, graveyard. If you do, each uh, opponent discards a card. But this isn't in play yet, because I have this in play. So this pure reflection resolves, the triggered ability of this resolves, putting this into play, and I still have this on the stack. I'm going to cast Momentary Blink, exiling my token. I'm going to respond to your Momentary Blink, which is now targeting your token. Sure. Uh, and I'm going to cast Fork, mm -hmm. copying your Momentary Blink, mm -hmm. targeting my creature. Yep. So mine is going to resolve first, but first this is a triggered ability. Whenever an enchanted creature becomes the target of a speller ability, that speller ability's controller gains control. I gain control of this creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, then this is going to go into exile. Then. So that's all happening while Fork is still on the stack? or? Well, my Fork is now a copy of Momentary Blink, which is resolving. Right, okay. So yeah, this is all happening. So we have to wait for the resolution of this to happen. So wait. This, yeah, this is all part of resolution. This enters play. Then state-based actions are going to check. Doesn't fork need to resolve first is what I'm getting? Because if it's co it? No, it copies the spell. Oh, I got that one wrong then. Yeah. I thought, yeah, now I lose. <laughs> I thought this is one of the ones that became a copy of the spell on the stack. Right. No, no. That's what it, like, old, old version of mm. it used to be. Um, right. So this has to resolve, and then it creates a copy of the spell on the stack, as yeah. opposed to this is a copy. Yep. Right? Wait. For one to say no, I'm copy, right. Copy target spell, except, and then you may put the... But that needs to be... Res like, this needs to be in the graveyard, right? Copy target spell or ability, except that copy is... You may choose new targets for the copy. I'm interpreting it. Errata says makes a copy. Written text says it becomes a copy. This is an errata thing. Yeah, we always go with errata. Yeah. We go with oracle. Yeah, the, so I should have checked. The, so what I should have done is I should have asked for an errata of the card before playing it. Because I tried to play it as written, and it has been rewritten. And, and, and thus I lose. And that, that's what would happen in a tournament. Judge's Tower rules. Okay. Wheeler is the winner. Okay. 1-1 one, one in Judge's Tower. Uh, <laughs> I will go first. <laughs> <clears throat> Ha, <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what time is it, Paul? <laughs> 5.41. Awesome. We got a game and then we'll take a commercial break. Sure. <laughs> Are you sweating? Because I'm sweating. No, I mean, I have... Look, I had a migraine all day. And mm -hmm. so I think it's working in my favor. Where I'm just going off of instinct. <laughs> That's... But then... You could see, I, I could see like when you were drawing cards there, Serge, just drawing that fork and your blood just runs cold. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, oh no, what's going to happen? <laughs> you, you, somebody in chat just pointed out, this is the magic equivalent of chess boxing. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a good show, by the way. Have you tried watching chess boxing? Uh, I mean, I'm familiar with the concept yeah. of chess boxing. Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. I did mm -hmm. not think I'd have a good time watching it. It was really quite entertaining. They had a big, like, influencer chess boxing tournament. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I heard about that. Yeah, I was watching it with Fuji. It was it was actually a really good time. Do, my only question is, do they have to move the pieces in the chess game while with with the boxing gloves on? No, they, they de-tape them. They put them in the center, and then, at least for this event, they put headsets on so the commentators could talk about the state of the game without giving anything away. Ah... Yeah, yeah. So it's a seven-round event, and it goes for, for uh, some chess, reason, boxing, I, chess, boxing, hence not boxing chess, you know? Yeah. For some reason, I really want them to have to actually, like, pick up the pieces and move them while wearing enormous boxing gloves. <laughs> Can I show you the most hateful hand of magic cards I've ever seen? Okay. All right, Paul. All right, so let's ignore the, the land, land, mental misstep. Blood Moon? Uh-huh. Back to basics. Uh-huh. Fable the Mirror Breaker, Archmage's Charm. Three drop, three drop, three drop, three drop, three drop. I, I don't think I keep this. No. <laughs> no, but I hate it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, what, Serge, what does your deck do? Uh, uh, Not much, but neither will yours. Yeah. Now, we're both going to sixes here. Do you want to do, like, just... Gentleman seven. Gentleman seven? Gentleman I'm fine seven. with the gentleman right. seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Victory can be achieved by checkmate or TKO. Yep. Mm. Oh. I'll keep. Keep. Good luck to you. Good luck. Uh, Aaron Mesa and pass. Volcanic Island. Moxus Rubius. This guy. Pass. Volk. Mm -hmm. Fetch. I got bad news for you, my dude. You're playing Stifle? I'm stifling you. Okay. It's like 2017 all over again. Go ahead. Yeah. Rude. I don't feel bad about calling out your DRC trick. Yeah, that's fine. I accidentally saw the top card. Okay. So I'm going to give a quick little shuffle here. Stifle. <clears throat> I I, you wanna cut I hate stifle not because of the the card but just because that the the concept of being able to counter an ability mm -hmm. just adds an additional like <laughs> that can't be countered well technically. Urza Saga mm -hmm. pass. Uh, Windswept Heath and mm. I'm gonna fetch. Oh, I got bad news for you, my dude. Really? Nimble obstructionist cycle. Um, I'll concede. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> okay. You're playing Nimble Obstructionist in 2022. 2023 is two days away, and you're playing Nimble Obstructionist still. <laughs> oh, my God. Paul, <laughs> Paul, I have a request. Please, I have a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. Can I Can I swear once? <laughs> Just give me one, give me one F, we can sync it up. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're past the watershed. Sure, okay, yeah. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Oh, we couldn't do three hours of Judge Tower. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Get back. 
Get back at the saddle here, Jaeger. I'm gonna take <laughs> you to town with this. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that game, that game did not take 15 minutes. Yeah. I, nope. No. Nope. Um, um, who's first here? Well, I lost, so <laughs> I'm going first. All right, go. Good lord. All right, main phase. I'm going to cast uh, Draven Dominator. It's on the stack. Six mana, four, four, Gargoyle, Flying Haunt. Mm -hmm. uh, Haunt is an, act, uh, an ability from uh, original Ravnica block. This is Guild Pact. Oh, when this card is put into a graveyard from play, remove it from the game, haunting target creature. Uh, when it comes into play, or the creature it haunts is put into a graveyard, each other creature becomes a 1 1 until end of turn. I have a response to that triggered ability. So this is on the stack and there's now triggered ability? Yeah, if you're okay. passing priority. Yes, priority is yours. I'm going to cast Asphyxiate targeting your. Um, thing. That's a sorcery. <laughs> commercial break! <laughs> commercial break! Uh, commercial uh, break! Uh, no! Back to the overhead! No, no, no. No, no it's perfect. She's got an answer. Counter your sorcery. Oh my god. <laughs> commercial break! Commercial right. break! Let's, have, uh, let's go to a quick commercial break and we'll be back in uh, just a few minutes. I'm so, so sorry. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Friday Night Paper Fight where it's a race to the bottom <laughs> between Wheeler and I. Oh, please don't. Oh. No, I'm... I thought you he was think gonna... I'm going to hit you? I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're, if you're just tuning in, if you're just joining us, uh, we were playing Canadian Highlander and between every game of Canadian Highlander... We're playing Judge's Tower to see who goes first in the next one, and it's uh, you've missed you've missed some games of magic. Or hey, hey, we're having a great <laughs> celebration. Hope New Year's is going well for you too. Woo! Kicking off uh, 2023 with a bang over here on the Loading Ready Run Mega Channel. All right, I have a seven. You have a seven. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna play this windswept heath and path pass pass. You played a flooded strand. Does that mean I get to win? <laughs> Do uh, I even have a? All right, I I don't even have a heath in hand. Yeah, you're a blue red deck. I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, I've got Am on tilt. All right. Uh, volcanic island. Yeah. Mox diamond. Oh yeah, you're good. Uh, replacement effect. I'm going to discard a tabernacle. Oh. And I'll play a third path iconoclast. Oh baby. All right, I'm gonna crack. Mm -hmm. And that's going to resolve. And I'll pass. I'm going to get a Rav Duel and put it into play. Where's the old Ready Bluey? Steam Vents. The third path Iconoclast. That's, that's a pretty good um, magic card. That's maybe a problem. Mm. See, that went 10 times fast. Third path Iconoclast, third path Iconoclast, third path Iconoclast. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right, would you... Yeah. There you go. All right, I have a very important query and that query is in this board state when i'm casting a braid i don't know if it's more correct for me to try and wasteland you or if it's to get rid of the third class iconoclast third path iconoclast third I think path it's, iconoclast i think yeah i think it's correct to shoot the creature because you're going to place so many rocks you've got so many free artifacts you're going to get value out of it more so than you're going to get value out of the rock mm -hmm. uh go <clears throat> Third path iconoclast. Third okay. path iconoclast. Yeah. Huh. Wasteland. Oh! Go ahead. So this is how it feels. <clears throat> Cascade Bluffs. Mm -hmm. Seagull. Mishra's Workshop. Oh, baby. Let's go. Five mana. Big rock. Memory jar. Oh, yeah. And I'll pass. All right. Draw step. Uh, wooded Foothills. I'm going to crack the Wooded Foothills for a ready bluey. Mm -hmm. Cut right to it. Easy money. 
in that it was the uh, the top of the second half. <laughs> You're fine. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yep. Go. <clears throat> Would you like to generate a goblin? Oh, yeah. I should do all the things the card says, shouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, you're good. Ancient Tomb. Eight mana and a memory jar. This is a little spooky. Yeah. My hand's not very good, though. Yeah, but crack memory jar, play five rocks, untap with 30 mana is kind of cool. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to okay. crack this memory jar. All right, so memory jar. We set our hands aside. We both draw seven. I'm going to tell you right now, no F6. Okay. Uh, I'll go to 18. Golos. Golos. Trigger. Oh, man. Um, I have I have a guess. I have a guess. Tolarian, oh, Tolarian Academy. Academy. Yep. Stay in school. Enters tapped. No Golos. Yep. This card's you know, not very good. I've never cast a Golos before. No, that's not true. I did it in Gladiator, but does everything for you, you know? Yeah. It's a pretty good magic card. Yeah, never cast it in paper. How much play does Golos see in Canlander? Uh, a couple not of a, Academy decks. Yeah. It's mostly not just a lot, Not a ton, probably yeah. just Academy, yeah. Um, two, I'm going to play Winter Orb. And I will pass... We go to discard our hands. All right, you want to show me what you had? Sure. Right. So yeah. I have a Mind Stone, yeah. an Urza Saga, Ooh. a Fabricate, Arid Mesa, and a Time Twister. Wow. All right. I had uh, three lands. Mm -hmm. Probe, Fork Bolts, Remand, Fire Ice. Oh, all gas. Yeah, well. <laughs> all right. Uh, my braid is looking like it's in the wrong pile right about now. <laughs> All right, um, untap, mm -hmm. winter orb, um, upkeep, draw step. You may discard, all right, we'll go to the, this is the pre-combat main phase, or AKA the saga step. Mm -hmm. uh, man, my hand's really bad now. <clears throat> yes, it's weird, you had a Gataxian probe, but you could only probe the hand that he was gonna be getting rid of, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a weird situation. Uh, I'm going to discard Expressive Iteration and Serum Vision. Okay. Because uh, I would use them to uh, <clears throat> dig for a land, and instead I'm just going to draw one right now. Do you have Menace? That'd be really cool. For menace. <laughs> Whenever this Sorry. creature attacks, create a treasure token. Whenever this creature attacks. Yeah. Worth. Attack for two, make uh, a treasure token. I would like to block. Yep. Okay. Pass. Uh, I'm going to choose to untap my <clears throat> Tolarian Academy. Fair. A little late. A little late. Mm. I'm going to tap for one, two, three blue yep. and a white. And I'm going to use two of that blue and a white. So floating a blue. I'm going to cast Search for Glory. So I can search my library for a snow permanent, a legendary card, or a saga. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is kind of hot because it can find uh, Tolarian Academy, Urza Saga, Golos. Technically, it should find the basic, but legendary I Legendary like... permanent also gets you any Planeswalker, too, right? Yeah, that's yes. a good tutor. That's a good it's, tutor. It's gotten a lot better. Mm. I... A card of legend, a saga, or, you know, something that has snow on it. Yeah, what, whatever you want, honestly. Um, hmm. I am going to think. <laughs> I think I'm just going to grab Urza. Okay. Uh, 
I'll attack you for three. I go to 15. Mm. Go ahead. All right, untap. Untap this uh, Cascade Bluffs. Mm. Uh, draw a step, draw land. Um, step three, <laughs> yep. third chapter, exile, and it becomes, oh, it's your boy, uh, Reflections of Kiki Jiki. All right, uh, two can play at this game. Okay. Magus of the Moon. Okay. You can have one mana per turn, two. Ooh. You're fine. Uh, all non-basic lands are now mountains. All right. Go. Oh, I have all blue cards in hand. It's kind of awkward. But <laughs> shutting down your academy seems good. That seems pretty good. Yeah, go to you. <clears throat> Ooh. Draw. <clears throat> uh, brainstorm. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't exactly do anything, but it is kind of funny. Mm. Um, I'm going to put these two cards on top. Okay. Go to play Manamo, School mm. of Water's Edge. I'll put it on here, even though there's a Blood Moon in play. Yep. Um, go ahead. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, none of my basic islands are gone. That's good. Mm -hmm, Got mm -hmm. 10 of them in the deck. Ooh. Gone through about 25 cards so far. Okay. Chances are good. This next card's a blue card. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tap one, <clears throat> draw. I'll play a basic island. Oh, no, we got the basic island first. This is so bad for me if you have a force of will. But you need exactly force of will. So I am going to cast Urza Lord High Artifice. Results. Trigger. Mm -hmm. Make a current struct. Uh, I'm going to immediately tap it and the Golos and the Winter Orb for three blue. And I'll play Trinister. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, go ahead. Oh baby. Oh baby. All right. Untap. So go. you untap all your lands because this is tapped. Fascinating. Um. <clears throat> You're such a troll. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <clears throat> all right. I got the. I got my blue. Mm -hmm. I got my blue. Go. So I untap everything because Winter Orb is uh, tapped. Uh huh. Draw. Um. Blue, red, and white mm. to cast uh, Prismatic Ending for three on your Magus. I think I should be dead here. I'm hoping so. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap Tolarian Academy for five blue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use three of that to play Narset Parter of it. Oh, you know what I should have done in response? Mm. I should have made a copy. Made a copy. That's fine. Are you sure? I, I'm I'm losing this game anyways. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's changing too much. Uh, down tick. Yeah, I could have shut you off for one turn, but yeah. Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use that <clears throat> to uh, pay one of it to untap this Tolarian Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have one blue floating. That's kind of important because I'm going to activate this uh, Urza. Um, tap it for five more. So I go up to six blue. I'm going to use all that to activate Urza. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going to... Um, yeah, this is still fine. I have to pay the three because of uh, three ball here. But that's okay. Hey, the th oh, right, when you, when you yeah. try to cast it? Yeah. yeah you're fine. <clears throat> so you got one floating, you'll tap your other two or something like that? What's happening? I got one floating, and I can tap the Ancient Tomb yeah. here, or <clears throat> I can tap Golos plus this. Uh, but I'm going to likely tap this. Because um, I'm going to exile... Ooh, okay. I'm going to exile a Maria. Uh, I will cast her for one, two, three. This is interesting. This is a card that we were kind of low on. 
but I guess it works in, in specifically this deck. Or I what? talked smack about this card exact in everything except for exactly this kind of scenario yeah. and deck. And like she's fine, but she's not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, combat. Yep. Uh, attack you with the construct and golos. Did this number change? No. Is it still five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I go to seven. Uh, go ahead. All right. If I draw a land, this gets interesting. I did not draw a land. I'll concede. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had uh, I had some interesting lines. <clears throat> I went for the Magus. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I think the only room of counterplay I have there is like I can make the Magus of the Moon for a turn to slow you down for half a second there. Mm -hmm. If I get a land, I can play Dak Faden. Uh, and take your biggest creature, which Ooh. is not very big for me. It just becomes a 2-2, two -two, which is kind of weird. I could take Golos, but I don't, like, Golos has already done the harm there. Yeah. So, like, Dak Faden's kind of interesting. Uh, True Name doesn't even save me in this situation if I get that. I need a blue specifically. Back to Basics is just kind of rude. Yeah. Back to Basics is kind of funny, but, like... Very funny. <clears throat> I put that down, but I'm just dead on board with Back to Basics out. So yeah. there's, like, not a, not a ton, ton we can do there. All right. Oh, good, more Judge's Tower. <laughs> <clears throat> two to one in Canlander uh, for me. Two to one in Judge's Tower for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you mean? We play Judge's Tower again? I don't know, man. My brain. What does Asphyxiate do? Actually, <laughs> it's on the ground somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Okay, we'll yeah. get it before. We'll get it before the night is over. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so I lost. So mm. I play first. Yeah. <clears throat> Pass. <laughs> Draw a step. <clears throat> I'm going to cast Past in Flames. On your draw step? No, in my main phase. Sorry, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast Past in Flames. I'm going to hold priority and cast Blue Elemental Blast targeting Past in Flames. Love it. <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm going to immediately, uh, as soon as I get priority, flashback Past in Flames. All right. Um, go. All right. Draw a step. <clears throat> Pass. Draw. I would like to cast Warren Pilferers. Five mana, three, three. When it comes into play, return target creature from my graveyard to my hand. If that creature is a goblin, it gains haste until end of turn. Uh, no legal target, assuming it results in trigger. Yes. Pass. Draw a step. Okay. God, I hate you so much, Nick. What did I do <laughs> to deserve this main phase? <clears throat> I'm going to cast Cephalid Sage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Threshold... When it comes into play, draw three cards and discard two cards. You have threshold if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard. Okay, so there's no enters the battlefield ability because I don't have threshold. Mm -hmm. Now that I have priority again, I'm going to cast uh, Momentous Fall as an additional cost, sacrifice a creature. Uh, you gain, you draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power, then you gain life equal to its toughness. So I'm going to sacrifice this to gain three life and draw two cards. Okay. Sorry, we'll do the yeah, yeah, yeah. I draw two. <laughs> Good, huh? Um, I'm going to cast mm -hmm. Rick's Mighty Guild Mage. Mm -hmm. It is a Guild Mage. It has two activated abilities. Uh, the first one is target blocking creature gets minus one and minus one until end of turn. The other one is target player who lost life this turn loses one life. Okay. Uh, there are tar currently no legal targets for either ability. That's correct. <clears throat> I'm going to play Hall of Mists, which is a land. Uh, cumulative upkeep, one. No creature can attack if it's no creature can attack if it attacked during its controller's last turn. Yep. 
Then I'm going to cast Vengeful Rebirth, mm -hmm. targeting Momentous Fall. Okay. So return target card from your graveyard to your hand. If you return a non-land card to your hand this way, Vengeful Rebirth deals damage equal to the target's <clears throat> converted mana cost to target creature or player, then remove Vengeful Rebirth from the game. Okay. I'm going to target my own Guild Mage. Okay. So I deal four damage to the Guild Mage. The Guild Mage is going to die. This is going to go into exile. You worried about the timing there? Well, you put your Guild Mage in the graveyard first and then put it in there where the Guild Mage doesn't it die. has a damage on it. Then you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you're right. State based legal. Space based actions. I, uh, I, um, I lose. Okay. Yeah, because there's damage that's marked on it. No. There's damage that's marked on it. The spell yeah, then needs the spell, to finish resolving. The spell needs to finish resolving before state-based actions kill the creature. You're yeah. correct. All right. I mean, that, maybe that's a little too... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's perfect. You are okay. perfectly correct. Okay. <laughs> Why did we do this? Why did we, why did we do this, dude? Why did we do this? Oh! <sighs> Paul's grinning ear to ear. He loves this. <laughs> I need to slow down. Yeah, take your time. I, yeah, now, and I'm, everything. I'm curious about, like, whether, you know, this, like, uh, was it sort of cross training here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How <it> make you... <laughs> like. But but is it is it gonna is it making you more conscious of your triggers in your Highlander deck? Oh God no, Paul! It's actually just actively hurting my brain and harming my ability to play either format right now. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. It is it is actively overtaxing my brain in ways that uh, I can't even begin to explain right now. All right. Let's uh, let's resolve these moles. All right. We also picked two very hateful highlights. Oh my god, the decks play. that we're playing too. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll keep this. I I will be I will be mulliganing. Mm -hmm. As my hand only had blue blue blue. Oh, blue blue blue. I do think that <clears throat> Judge's Tower can make you a bit more aware of certain interactions. Yeah. Like I'm going to mention the Tarmogoyf with Lightning Bolt yep. interaction, yep. even though that's like the most obvious example, but there are I, other examples I of that. I got Goyf Bolt wrong in a Comp Highlander event, where oh. I literally bolted somebody's Goyf oh, no. when it had three toughness, oh. and then it got four toughness. Oh, no. And I was just like, well, that feels bad. I mean, it's like, it's the, there, there's also, like, I, I found that when I played, uh, when I play like online, I'll keep. you mm -hmm. know, Arena or, or Duels of the Plains or whatever. <clears throat> There's little aspects that are normally shortcutted when you're in person. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, like for instance, I never knew how back in the day. I never knew how regenerate worked until <laughs> I actually played it online. Yeah, like it's not in response, right? And like that, you have to tap it in yeah, certain yeah. cases. Like it's yeah, and you uh, have, yeah, and you have to do it before it actually happens. Yeah, it's <clears throat> fiery is lit. Yep. Uh, ouch. Yep. Ouch. Uh, prayer Dan. Yep. Uh, I'm going to bottom both. And then I will... I guess this deck has zero drops. Uh, go. Mountain. Pass. Urza's Saga. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to go to 18 and play a Talisman of Creativity. Yep. And yep. then I'm going to cast a Soul Guide Lantern and go Does it ahead. have to exile, or is it only my graveyard? Uh, I think it's up to one. Exile target card for the graveyard. Nope. Yep. Bye-bye. Okay. Go ahead. It, Island. Seems, it seems like trolling for them to actually make a saga called Urza's Saga. Yeah. <laughs> we got our friend, young Peasy the second. Peasy. Thirst Path. <clears throat> Uh, play this wasteland. Yeah. Oh, we got around it! Oh, God. You're a deck with Stifle, but you're also a deck with Sorcery Speed Spot Removal. So do I want to make the token now? No, I'm going to pass. All right. Untap. 
If you get me, Draw though. for the turn. I'm going to get you in a worse way. Blood Moon. Yeah, this is really bad, um, but at least I'll get to make a token of response. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this way. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, I get a soldier token. Yes. And yeah, and let's explain the interaction with Urza's Saga oh, and Blood Moon here. We're playing Judge's Tower. I know, I know. Uh, so basically, basically, Blood Moon works as a wasteland to Urza's Saga. Mm -hmm. um, specifically because of like, how does the wording? If there, are, if you, if you finish the chapters, if if there's like no more chapters that a saga can complete, which is what Blood Moon does, because it makes it into a mountain, because it stays as a saga, when, then it yeah, dies to when state based a, when actions. When a saga has more like lore counters on it than available chapters, yeah, then that's it, what is it is sacrificed. Yep. And so the yep. saga, it's still a saga with lore counters, but it is, it does not have chapters. Mm -hmm. So any amount of lore counters on it are going to be more than the number of chapters that it has, which is zero. Yeah. So it is sacrifice, and and the sacrifice uh, is a is a effect of the fact that it's a saga. It's not actually right, a it's thing that's on the card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yep. Why is that a land? Is in addition to a, is that the only saga that's a land? Yeah. Or is a saga? It's also an enchantment, Paul. It's an enchantment. Well, all land. the other all the <laughs> other sagas are enchantments. Yeah. But just yeah. this one is a land as well yeah. for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you're go. Um, I'm going to crack the cycle card. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's not sacrifice as a state based action. It's the it's the saga ruling, right? Mm -hmm. Or did they add a new state base for that specifically? I don't even know. I don't know. I'm not a judge anymore. Draw. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to 17 yeah. and cast expressive iteration. Yes. Yes, you are. One, two, three. <clears throat> Ooh, yowza. Um. I'm going to put this card in my hand, exile this taiga, and mm. bottom this card. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play this taiga mm -hmm. for the turn. And... I'm going to play a Pithy Needle. Mm. Yep, it's going to resolve. May I recommend uh, Talisman of Creation? No. <laughs> uh, Dak Faden. Yep. Go ahead. That's a good one. I'm going to play this basic mountain, uh, Odawara. Mm -hmm. uh, Dorat, the perfect pet for a red and a blue here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to bolt the construct. No. Trigger, trigger. Nice. And I will get in for five because this has haste. I go to 12. Pass. Karn Living Legacy. That is fine. I'm going to make a Power Stone and pass. So this is the new one. Mm -hmm. Plus one, Creative Tap Power Stone. Seems really good in this deck. Uh, pay any amount of mana, look at that many cards from your library, and put one of those cards into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. <gasps> and you get an emblem of tap an untapped artifact you control. This emblem deals one damage. Interesting. Go ahead. Uh, untap, 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 untap. Sometimes it's just a four mana fog, you know? Yeah, this is not the best showing of this card. Usually when you play it, your opponent shouldn't have four creatures in play in a Blood Moon. Yeah. Um, shadow Spear. And a Shadow Spear. Uh, trigger, Trigger. Yep. Is this non-creature? Wow. Yeah. It's not even just Prowess. No. Uh, we're going to go ahead and equip the Shadow Spear onto Dorat. Mm -hmm. Five. Uh, I'll honor your Fog. Uh, no, you just die if I just attack your life points directly. Is there a reason? Okay, I... Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me for eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll just hit you for eight. And okay. then you're like dead in the sky. And I, I, gain, I gain four life here. And say go. <clears throat> <laughs> in chat, draw your last pathetic card, Wheeler. 
My deck has no pathetic cards. <laughs> my deck, however, does have some pip intensive magic cards. That... This was my grandfather's deck. <laughs> How do I do this? That's kind of hot. But I can't do that. And all your cards are so big. <laughs> one, 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 one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to wheel a fortune. Yeah. Uh, I discard clique and true name. I'm discovering a Whir of invention, mm -hmm. a fabricate, a Tezzer the seeker, an Urza lord high artificer, oh and a random land. All right. Bold of me not to leave a blue up. <laughs> I haven't played my land, which makes this kind of hot. We're still dying to that. And Tabernacle doesn't save me. Because <laughs> it's just a mountain, yeah. So I think I have to play this Mana Vault off yep. my Power Stone. Yep. <clears throat> no, I don't have an out. Yeah, I'm dead. GG! Okay, GG. Woo! I, I get super annoyed at these cards that they switch into the like old cards that have the smaller text on them. Oh, but then there's space at the bottom of the text <laughs> yeah. It's like, you could have used bigger font. No, sorry. Bust out the reading glasses. Okay. Back to the tower. Please stop getting a blood moon on curve. I beg you. <laughs> I mean, that time was blood moon and not magus. So, um... You're on the draw. I'm on the draw. Uh, go. go. Okay. Draw step. I just... I did lose because I no, dexterity. Okay, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. still in here with me. <laughs> I'm, not... <laughs> I'm not letting you out that yeah, easily, no, Jaeger. No, no. Uh, <clears throat> main phase. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Noggle Ransacker. That's another fun one to say. I don't even know what it does. I just want to say it. Okay. Uh, when it comes into play, each player draws two cards, then this card's a card at random. So it is simultaneous. Uh, but because we're drawing from the same deck, active player, non-active player, so mm -hmm. you would technically draw first. Do you draw two there? Yep. Okay, I'll draw two, um, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, middle card for both of us. Idle thoughts. Uh, so I've discarded a zoologist. It has no graveyard ability. Does yours have any relevance <clears throat> to the graveyard? No. Okay. This is coming to play. We are still in my main phase. Uh, I'm then going to cast Arbiter of the Ideal. This is a 6-mana 4-5 with flying. Whenever it becomes untapped, reveal the top card of your library. If it's an artifact, creature, or land, you may put it onto the battlefield with a manifestation counter on it. That permanent is an enchantment in addition to its other types. I'm going to respond. Oh, so this is on the stack? To that on the stack. Okay. I'm going to cast Second Guess. Okay. Uh, Counter target spell, that's the second spell cast this turn. So your first spell and then your second spell. <laughs> I accept. Wow. Pass. Uh, the next time in which you pass priority yep. to me. Um, that's fine. Draw step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this card this card is so good um main phase okay i'm going to cast betrayal enchanting your noggle so uh play only on a creature and opponent controls if the enchanted creature becomes tapped i draw a card <laughs> yeah so okay I'm, so i'm enchanting your noggle my not okay okay and i am going to pass the turn all right um upkeep draw step Okay, it's fine. It's fine. 
So this is my pre-combat main phase. Uh, I'm going to cast Mind's Desire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Storm is one. Mm -hmm. So shuffle your library. It's random and sure. it's huge. Are you okay if we just call it randomized? That's fine. Okay. Uh, then remove the top card of the game, top card of the library from the game. Until the end of turn, you may play it as though it were in your hand without paying its mana cost. Okay. Uh, in this format, that's just draw a card, right? Well, no, because it's 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 public information. Wait, I'm gonna remove the top card from the game. So yes, it's exiled. This goes into exile. I can't play it until this is done resolving. Okay, so we've exiled one card. Storm is one. Then I'm gonna put this in the graveyard. It's done resolving. Uh, I'm going to go back to my my next time I have priority. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast the Hydromorph Gull. So okay. five mana, three three bird guardian flying. Uh, blue and sacrifice the gold counter target spell that targets one or more creatures that you control. Mm -hmm. Attack step. I'm going to attack you with the Noggle Ransacker. Trigger. I will take two. Okay. Um, I'll <clears throat> go to second main and I will pass the turn. Uh, draw step. Okay. This card is so brutal. <laughs> I'm going to cast Covenant of Minds. Uh, so I reveal the top three cards in my library. You may choose to put those cards in my hand and if you don't, uh, I draw five cards. <laughs> so I'm targeting you. Okay. I'm revealing Hanabi Blast, Impromptu Raid, and Avian Changeling. You know what? You can just have those three. God bless you, yeah. Serge. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you can have those three instead of five. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, I am then going to cast... Temporary Insanity targeting Noggle... Thingamaj What's this called? It's called Noggle the Noggle Ransacker. Ransacker. So untap target creature with power less than the number of cards in my graveyard and gain control of until end of turn and gains haste until end of turn. Awesome. I will use the activated ability on Hydromul... S Sorry, I have to hold priority. Okay, sure, that's fine. That's I'm fine. also holding priority and casting Hanabi Blast uh, de targeting your Hydromorph doll. <laughs> uh, Deals two damage to target creature or player, then I return it back to my hand, uh, and then I discard a card at random. Okay, so uh, now that I have priority, mm -hmm. I actually have the option of two different legal targets. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to use the Hydromorph Gull's uh, activated ability to actually counter the blast. Okay. So you are sacrificing sacrifice that. this. The counter there's now, there's now an activated ability on the stack <clears throat> targeting your blast. That resolves. Okay. This is now on the stack. So targeting this. Yeah. So I untap it and I gain control <clears throat> yes. of it. Um, I am going to cast Impromptu Raid. Reveal the top card of my library. If it isn't a creature card, put into my graveyard. Otherwise, put it into play. That creature has haste. Sacrifice it at the end of turn. Okay. Wait, why do I lose? Oh! <laughs> Family <laughs> channel! Because Jesus! It, because it can only enchant uh, right. a, a creature uh, you don't control. Controls. Oh, God. My cleverly... Look, my clever ruse. Actually, I didn't even see that line. I can't say that was there. I knew I wanted you to have to draw more cards, which is why I did the other one, but I didn't even think about that line. Oh, God. I... Okay. Okay. Well, you saved me from impromptu, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you like to go first? Yeah. All right. You having a good time, chat? How are you doing? Man, this is... This is the hardest I have ever worked at a Friday Night Paper Fight. We literally spent nine hours collectively re-sleeving my collection a week ago. Yeah. This is the most taxing, challenging Friday Night Paper Fight I have ever done. <laughs> Baffled but amused. Okay. Okay, hold on. Pharmacist Judge says, First the player's turn is draws the two cards, then each other player in turn order does so. 
Then the player whose turn it is randomly selects a card to discard it. Then each player does it. First of all cards selected this way are discarded at the same time. So we got that wrong as well. because It's not active player, non-active player order. Then the play So Pharmacist Judge says, first the player's turn it is draws two. Then everyone else does so. Interesting. Well, part of Judge's Tower is that if you get away with it. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder why that is. Um, because the rules of magic are a little arbitrary. I I, it could also be because it's one ability, it's not multiple abilities that are being put on the stack. Yes, yeah. So, in that, in that case, for those orders, for those rules, you do resolve it in player order. You see that a lot in Commander, right? Yes. Where everyone has to make a selection, just goes around in player order. It is active player, non-active player, but triggers are different because they resolve in reverse order. Yeah, so what's happening there, it's not like um, it's not like both of us have an ability that's being put on the stack and you have to resolve it in that order. It's mm -hmm. one ability that's affecting multiple players. Normally it wouldn't matter, but because we're drawing from the same library, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Neat, thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Can I just let you know that um, Blue Moon might be one of my new favorite decks? It's. I'm really enjoying the reps I've been getting in on the stack. There, there was a, a question uh, in chat for uh, what points uh, either, both of you are running. Oh, um, Mox, Mox, Cruise, um, Dig, True Name. Mox, Mox, uh, Mox Sapphire, Mox Pearl, Mana Vault, Transmute Artifact, Crop Rotation, Tolarian Academy. Is I think I might have one extra point there because Mox Mox is six, mm -hmm. uh, Cruise is one, mm -hmm. Dig is one, mm -hmm. True Name is one. Mm -hmm. uh, is is uh, Burn? Price of Progress is Price of Progress is the tenth. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, Pharmacist Judge says that's correct. It's pretty rare for anything to be simultaneous in Magic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm on the play, correct? Mm -hmm. I'll keep. Yeah, same here. Go. Flooded Strand. Okay. Mock Sapphire. I will float a blue. Dazer Mox. This is such a bold move. <laughs> this is such a bold move. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to respect that. <laughs> you have to let me know. Like, I mean, not... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to pass. Okay. In your upkeep, I'm going to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no way you do that. That's the most absurd bluff. So. Uh, he's either a genius <laughs> or something else. <laughs> Go. Uh, Odawara. Mm. Third Path Iconoclast. Ooh, kind of wishing I had that days. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Sheep and Reef. Mm -hmm. Tap for colorless thing. Yep. In the ice. If you, you know. <laughs> Go <laughs> Thing. <laughs> mm, expressive Iteration. Trigger. Good card. Can I borrow some of those soldiers? I thought I had the right cards, but I think I brought. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many soldiers you want, bud? Uh, here, here. Just give me three. I've got, I got four. Okay. I got four. Have, uh, have an extra one as a, a little present for me to you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I will put this one in my hand. Exile this Taiga. Mm. Put this on the bottom. I'll play Taiga for the turn. I don't know. I put that <laughs> over there. Uh, play Taiga <laughs> to you. A block. <laughs> Go. 
Nice try on the mind games, Mr. Wheeler. Not the mind games. Uh, I like I like the cut of your jib. Uh, expressive iteration, taking one damage for red. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Uh, this one into my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, this mocks into exile. Oh. This onto the bottom. It's only instant or sorcery, so I don't get extra value out of that. I'm going to play this Mox. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to play this Arid Mesa. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to crack down to 18. Uh, get myself what we in the industry like to call a Ready Bluey. I, I do like there's the... Uh, I've seen people talking about the uh, North Run Showdown bingo card uh, and and uh, uh, searching for a uh, dual land by using the colors as in ready bluey that's that's, yeah. that's on, a me yeah. Yeah. is is there an actual has somebody made a bingo for that i uh, i don't know if it actually exists but people have definitely talked about it a lot in mm. the comments to the uh a braid trigger pass Did I pay enough life there? Um, one from that one. Yeah, I should be at 18, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I really need to turn into a snow duel. Oh. Um. Ponder? Yeah. For a second there, I was like, how's he tapping that mountain for me? <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Guess I'm doing all I can. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, you put your token in the graveyard. I was left to ponder on the. This is. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> your token uh, needs to come back. Wait, I have to still have a token. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is fine. God. Woo! <laughs> we still have another hour after our next break too. It's not even seven. What time is it? Six thirty, my dude. Nope. <laughs> Um, is, remember, kids, don't play Judge's Tower. <laughs> this is your brain. Friends don't let friends Judge's Tower. <laughs> this is a cautionary tale is what this stream is. <laughs> it's so much fun, legitimately. Uh, I'm going to play a Sahili Rai. Um, or not Sahili Rai, Sahili uh, yeah, Sublime Murder. I'm going to respond, okay. uh, Force of Will. Sure. And uh, I'll let you know I had it. I'll exile this Diffle. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's a bluff... <laughs> yeah. It's you like are a, a god tier block, You are right? a master. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So I have one counter left on the thing. I mean, we know we know Surge has the best poker face. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what made it even worse, because <laughs> I was just like... I, I, oh. uh, I'm going to play this Sulphur Falls. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and tap a blue uh, to cast a Shadow Spear. Sure. And pass. <clears throat> uh, play a Krikus. Oh, yeah. I was like kind of tempted to hold the Stifle to stifle your wasteland if and when you did it, but... Um... Search for glory. Two cards in hand? No, four cards oh in hand. Oh my god. Oh, that's fine. Oh, right here. Mm. I'm going to grab a Ren at six. Mm. I'm going to try to cast Ren at six. I'm going to counter it. Oh, okay. Counter now spell. I get to put this. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Thing in the Ice is going to transform yeah. into an Awakened Horror. Ooh. It's a 7 8. And when it enters, wait, when this creature transforms into Awakened Horror, return all non horror creature tokens to their owner's hands. Okay. Speaking of hands. Good. Go. Yeah. All right, untap, untap, draw. Uh, equip, mm -hmm. attack you for eight. I go to 11. 
I go to 26. Merktide Regent. Oh, come on, my dude. One, two, two three, <laughs> four, no. five. Exiling five instants or sorceries. Uh, in enters play is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Like, hey, horror, uh, I know you just woke up, but uh, here's a spear. Go, <laughs> yeah. go, go stab that guy. Well, what do I do with this? <laughs> yeah, you'll figure it out. I suddenly have 16 power and toughness on the board. Yeah, when the hell did this <laughs> yeah. happen? I had a 0-4, and now I've got 16 power and toughness. Avoid Teferi. Uh, now that's 5 mana Teferi. What does this one do? Uh, I can tuck a thing. Which okay. is what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, uh, I'm going to Pick be. Pick your poison. Yeah, I'm going to tuck that thing in the ice. It's fair. And then I'll pass. What is the uh, third? It's minus three to do that. Yeah, tuck okay. third from the top. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good. Tuck, not bounce. Mm -hmm. All right, so third from the top, like so. Yeah. All right, draw for the turn. Grab that spear, mm -hmm. boy. Mm -hmm. uh, I will attack you for nine in the air. I go to two. Um, I gain nine. That puts me to 35. <clears throat> and I will say go. <clears throat> uh, tick up. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I have this Oko. Mm. But, but if you Alkify it because it's got plus one plus one counters on it and trample, it's still a giant. Yeah. Yeah, it's. <laughs> uh... <sighs> Winter Warp. Oh. <laughs> Concede. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I don't think blue red tempo is a good matchup for me. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah, a couple timely little counter spells there. Now, let's be let's be real. Shy of a bluff, what do you think of dazing and dazing and floating on that into that stifle mox play? Oh, if you have the stifle, you hundred percent. Hundred percent do that. Yeah, yeah you yeah. you like that? I I thought it was cheeky. I also thought it'd be you know good TV. So, yeah. I don't so, know, actually know if it was good. Good though. No. It's so good. so yeah. what's the what's the play there? Just to quickly. So, so Wheeler you... has a, Wheeler has a fetch land, and Wheeler is casting a mox. I have a I have a basic island, and in my hand I have a stifle and a daze. Uh, right. So what happens okay. is Wheeler doesn't actually have a mana yet. In order to find a mana to cast, uh, in order to get a mana to pay for the days so that his mox can resolve, he has to crack it. And because I floated the blue, I can stifle it. And if he doesn't do that, then I get to keep the stifle and I get to counter his, um, his mox. And now the question is, does he think I'm bluffing or not? Because it's a god tier bluff for me to daze that and for him to call me on it, in which case, I basically, I throw away a card and I return the island to my hand and he just pays for it. Right, right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's no way, it's like way too risky to do, because there's no way you do it if you don't have the stifle. But then, it is such a horrendous play if you don't have the stifle. <laughs> it makes the kind bluff of, even more plausible. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Only a fool I'm, would. But maybe. I feel like that's the only the only place I would make that play is like the finals of a year end. Oh yeah, if you're like, trying to go for the where yeah, if you so much it, is yeah. on the line, yeah, that there's no way. The other reason that's important there is because I would got you with stifle earlier, mm -hmm. so like you're already playing it there. I don't think if I had stifled yet at all, it's as much. But like there's there's that, like that still impacts it. You know what I mean? It's wild. Stupider I, like a fox. I lost with a Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, and an Oko in my hand. That's... <laughs> Jesus. All right, judges tower me. Sure. Uh, all right, I'm on the draw. Oh, God. Go. Draw oh. step. I think I lose. <laughs> yeah, I, I lose. Wait, what? If, if I lose on... Uh, uh, yeah, I have a fossil find. It doesn't target. 
Return a oh. card at random from your graveyard from your hand, then reorder your graveyard as you choose. So I lose. Yeah, I have a fossil fine. You want to play another one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm glad, because my hand was vision schemes and divination. Oh. So. <laughs> I will cast Ulamog's Despoiler. <laughs> okay. Uh, six mana, five, five. As it enters the battlefield, I can put two cards uh, you own from exile into your graveyard, and if I do, it enters the battlefield with full one, one counters. Go ahead. This is still draw step. I'm going to cast uh, Words of Wisdom. Mm hmm. You draw two cards, then each other player draws a card. So we're still in draw step. I'm going to draw two. And I draw one. Yep. This is going to go into the graveyard. Nope. Graveyard. All right. Uh, main phase. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cast Null Chamber. You and target opponent each name any card except basic land. Those cards can't be played. Uh, I'm going to name Ulamog's Despoiler. Um, I'm also going to name Ulamog's <laughs> Despoiler. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm then going to cast a Farika's Mender. It's a Gorgon. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target creature or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. I don't have any legal targets for that. Pass the turn. Draw step. Uh, I'm going to cast Chrono Savant. Six mana, five, five. I can pay one to white to return it from my graveyard to play tapped. Skip my next turn. <laughs> I'm going to play Donate. Oh. Uh, I would like to give you control of my Ulamog's Despoiler. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. I Draw would step. not take a donation from that guy. <laughs> Draw a step. Oh! Speak of the devil. I'd like to cast Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Did we say this to chat or was this the commercial break? That there was an Aladdin I, in this cube? In the commercial break, yeah. When I was scanning this cube in... The scanner was like, oh, Aladdin, that's worth a hundred dollars. Yeah, not quite. What was this, the name of this version? This isn't the actual version. Chronicles. Next. This is Chronicles. Chronicles. Must be like memories? No. Right. Aladdin is a four mana one one with an activated ability. Gain control of target artifact. Lose control of target artifact if Aladdin leaves play or if you lose control of Aladdin. Yeah. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'd like to attack you with both of these creatures, neither of which has any relevant abilities during combat. Sure. I'm going to block uh, the Ulamog's Despoiler. Okay. Damage? Yes. So damage is dealt. Uh, in that step, uh, I'm going to pay two to return Chrono Savant. Okay. To this, play tapped. As the owner of this card that yeah. goes to your graveyard, uh, you take four. Yep. Pass. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Draw stack. Death. That's a real powerful card to card this format. Yeah, it's really good. Um, while we're in our draw step still, I will cast Thought Flare. I have to draw four cards and then discard two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh, God, I'm getting rid of that one. Thank Christ. Uh, I'm going to discard Psychic Possession. Mm hmm and Aura Graft. <laughs> uh, yeah. So these two go into there. This spell is done resolving. It's going to go into the graveyard on top. We're going to enter into my main phase. Oh, this sucks so hard. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Zamex Guild Mage. Mm -hmm. It's a two mana, two, two with a bunch of different abilities. Now that it's in play, this turn, each creature you control enters a battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter. I'm going to activate that ability. Okay. Then, for my next trick, I'm going to cast... Void Attendant. Okay. Um, this turn, each creature you control enters a battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. It's going to enter with a plus one plus one counter on it. Mm -hmm. has an, it has an activated ability, one and a green. Put a card an opponent owns from exile 
into that player's graveyard and then put a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi token. Do you have anything in exile? No. You do not, so I don't have to do this right now. Now that I have a plus one, plus one counter, the Guild Mage's other ability is active. Mm -hmm. Green and one, remove a plus one, plus one counter you control from a creature, draw a card. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm going to cast... This is next time my priority. I'm going to cast Vanquish the Foul on my Farika's Mender. Mm -hmm. uh, destroy a target creature with power four or greater. Scry one. So hold on. I'm going to destroy. Destroy immediately puts this into the graveyard. Then I'm going to scry one. When you have infinite life and infinite mana and infinite combo, it's not that hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to leave that on top. This is now going to resolve and go into the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to cast Daring Thief. Whenever Daring Thief becomes untapped, you may exchange control of target non-land permanent you control and target permanent an opponent controls. It's going to enter with a plus one plus one counter on it. Now, I'm curious for the rules here. I've already activated... If you've only done it once, you're I've, good. I've already done it once, I'm wow. good. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, I would like to then go to combat. Mm -hmm. And attack you with Aladdin. Okay. I take it. Go. Uh, untap. All right. I have <laughs> an ability I need to activate. I need to remove a plus one plus one counter from a creature I control and draw mm -hmm. a card. Well, look, it's the card I left on top. So you're supposed to, you activated that and then you resolve that ability, but you didn't respond to your own ability by activating this ability. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> I thought I remembered because I got one of the abilities on it, but I forgot I need to do both in order, too. In the order. fact that I didn't start yeah. with the other one. Yeah, the guild mages. I've been doing such a good job of killing the guild mages before they could be yeah. a, a problem. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sure. I do like the plan that, like, the best game plan is, like, skip turns, kill your own creatures, do whatever you can to not play as much <laughs> as oh, possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you just have to activate each card once each turn? Yes, but it was Wheeler's turn, which is why I lost because I didn't activate it during his turn. So I have a radical suggestion. Okay. It's almost seven. Mm -hmm. Why don't we take a break? Yeah. And then the switch things up and add to the chaos. You want to play each other's deck? Sure. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right. We're going to do that. <laughs> so we're going to run uh, three minutes of ads, and then when we come back, more of whatever this is. So stick around. This has got to be against TOS. Like, there's no way you can't keep us here. Uh, it's, it's the day before New Year's Eve, for Christ's sake. They'll know that you forced a... And we're back. Uh, thank you, and... Uh, Somebody ev didn't read the fine print on their contract. <laughs> I did. Paul, I'm so sorry. When we became salaried, we made a huge... <laughs> uh. God. Yeah, I didn't realize... When I signed uh, that contract in my own blood. <laughs> I thought it was just like a camaraderie thing. Yeah, the robes are kind of cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, we're playing Canadian Highlander in Judge's Tower. Well, we're playing Judge's Tower to decide who goes first with Canadian Highlander. And we decided to mix it up for a bit in some kind of attempt to redo, to reset our brains. I am so, I was fried before this. <laughs> yeah, now that's a, there's so many cards. I was like, oh man, I've played prison decks and planeswalker decks and palcatraz decks before. And I was mulling and I was like, I, there's a lot of new cards for me here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we, we have switched decks. Yep. I will be playing Blue Moon, Surge's yep. Blue Moon. Uh, and Surge will be playing- Four color palcatraz. Palcatraz. <clears throat> An uh, archetype I really helped to, to bring into the forefront mm -hmm. of the collective consciousness of the format. Are are uh, are actually any either of the decks playing any uh, bro cards? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. Uh, both of us have been playing Third Path Iconoclast. Yep. Yeah. And oh, right, I'm playing course. the uh, the Legend of Kiki Jiki or whatever that card's called. Mm -hmm. and the I, Tale of Kiki Jiki. Is that from Fable of the Mirror Breaker? Fear Mirror of the Baker. Yeah. Is no. that from Brothers War? No, no, it's from Kamigawa, but I didn't want to correct Surge. Um, oh yeah, I'm those also are playing. Sets. <laughs> 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 I'm also playing Drafna. 
which is from come uh, for bro. Oh my god. Oh no. It's okay. I wasn't gonna correct you. <laughs> so you lost that judges tower, so you get to go first, right? No, the winner gets to go first. Oh, okay, so that's you're me. up first. Yeah. Great. Uh, this is so wild because this was this was shuffled. Yeah. Pluto Delta. Mox. Mox Sapphire. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna play you thing in the do ice? Do you not have the days? No. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna find the volcanic island, already bluey, and play. Th this is literally the play I tried to do. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, fascinating. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to play uh, this Arid Mesa and crack it right now in order to play around, <laughs> play around Stifle. Um, and uh, are you playing Rabduels? No. I have one or two Triumphs in there, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, just OGs. How many uh, German cards are in that deck? <laughs> oh, a lot. <laughs> it's okay. I, I recognize a lot of them. Like my good friend here, uh, Plunder Magier. Ah, Magier? Yeah. Trinkamage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got that? Plunder Magier. And um, Wishilden Buffelzong. Befelzenzong. Befelzenzong? You're trying to say, don't wait. You're trying to say crop rotation. Uh, I am. Yeah. Bef. Beth Lanzong. Uh, Vexeld Beth Lanzong. Oh. That's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a trial. It's great because anytime I mispronounce German, half the Germans are like, ha ha, he's talking about a language. I love it. And others are like, what are you doing? It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Please stop I... saying Kronkenwagen. <laughs> I can't I, find any triumphs. Are you sure they're in your deck? Yeah, right here. Oh, 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 ah! <laughs> I uh, yeah, I'll find this uh, this Spire's headquarters. <laughs> this night is cursed. This night is cursed. This night is cursed. This night is cursed. Pass. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. <sighs> Magus of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it feels. Yeah. So that's how it feels. Yeah. Man. A nice, nice triumph you had there once. Yeah. <laughs> so I got this basic mountain. Mountain, huh? Yep. yep. Go ahead. Yep. Cool. Why? Why'd you I attacked you for two. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why'd you put me to 17 for? That's so rude. Uh, I'm going to play this mountain. Mm hmm Yep. Uh, and use it to cast... Ah. A uh, talisman of progress. You yeah. ramped me, you fool! Oh no! Uh, and no, 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 I'm just feeling the sleeves. Are oh, new? okay. What are these new? What are yeah, these magic br cards? Brand new, brand new magic cards. God, I hate you so much. <clears throat> Sorry, what? 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 You're not gonna like what I have next. Then. Mox opal. Oh, that's a good one. It doesn't do anything right now. Because, it, well, I mean, just because it's not in the card reader doesn't mean it doesn't. <laughs> uh, maybe bad. Uh, prismatic ending for zero targeting your Moxon. Okay. <clears throat> you take one. Yes. Pass. <clears throat> Consider, trigger. Oh, I don't like this, you're right. Like this, draw. Uh, mountain. No! Shadow Spear, trigger. Oh, ho, ho. Well, uh, I'm glad I cut you on that land. For you. I'm at 12. Go ahead. How, uh, how many turns until I'm dead here, do you reckon? Uh, well, I have six power on the board and you're at 12. So, two turns. 12 divided by six. All right, I'm going to try to slow you down a little bit here. Uh, Trinosphere. Mm, okay. I think Free I might ball. still be dead. No! Go. <clears throat> At least you can't double spell. Uh, 
Brainstorm? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'll put these two on top. Okay. Cards in hand? Three. Okay. I'll play a Bloodstained Mire, and I'll six you. I'm at six. Go. Untap. Draw for the turn. Fascinating. What does that do for me right now? Put me down to six. So uh, if you do that, I don't die. And that's kind of cool. That's kind of Pog Champ. Urza. Pog. Yep. Uh, I have to take one to cast that, though. Mountain, mountain, blue, one. So yep. I go to five. I make a Karnstruck that's quite lurge. That's uh, a 4-4. Four, four. And then I block your two biggest creatures, and I take four. I go to one. Mm -hmm. uh, that seems acceptable. Go. <clears throat> A braid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't have enough blockers. Yeah. What was the other card? Oh, it's oh, just this oh. Jace I can't cast. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Back to the tower. Oh, back to the tower. Oh, my God. Did you like uh, destroying that mox? Yeah. 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 I think if you draw like snaring bridge or moat or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to I'm trying to cut you on resources there a little bit because my hand's a little slow. That uh the deck might be good. Alright, so you're on the oh Nick, I hate you. Go ahead. Wait, no, I play first because yeah. you're on the draw. All right, great. Uh I got this Enigma Sphinx <laughs> cascade. So I cascade into a civilized scholar. You know what? That's not too bad. All right, so I'm going to cast this first, and then the Sphinx is going to resolve, and I'm going to pass. Um, I'm going to cast Bludgeon Brawl. So each non-creature, non-equipment artifact is an equipment with equip X, and equip creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is that artifact CMC. Go. <clears throat> well, mana value. <laughs> so this is just like, let's have a fight with anything lying around. Yep. Pick it up and throw it. Mm -hmm. All right. So on my upkeep, I'm going to tap Civilized Scholar to activate the ability to draw a card and then discard a card. Yep. So I'm going to draw a card. Oh, God, it's a harmonized. Thank goodness. <laughs> and then discard it. This creature's tapped. If a creature card is discarded this way, untap Civilized Scholar, then transform it. Okay. So that stays tapped. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to draw for the turn. Uh, then I'm going to move to my main phase, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to... E they both have this activated ability. Only one can target the other. Uh, I'm actually... Each non-creature, non-equipment oh, artifact. it's not creature. Sorry, thank goodness. Each non-creature, non-equipment artifact. Okay, uh, that makes my life a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, this Pure Sight Marrow. Mm -hmm. It's a two-mana, two-two Merfolk Wizard with an untap ability. Look at the top card of your library. You may remove that card from the game. Yeah. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack you for five. I take five. Pass. <clears throat> Draw. Go. Untap. Mm -hmm. Upkeep. I'm going to draw a card and discard a card. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to draw and discard this called Dothra Rebirth. Thus, this does not untap. It's another good one to get rid of. Um, I'm going to go to my draw step and draw a card. Crap. Uh, we're at my main phase. I'm going to cast the Tapestry of the Ages. Mm -hmm which is an artifact with an ability that says two and tap and draw a card. Activates ability only if you've cast a non-creature spell this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I have an activated ability. I'm going to equip the tapestry of the... Is it only me or is it all players? Each equipment. Each non-creature, non-equipment. So everyone. Yes, okay. I'm going to equip it to the Enigma Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Then going to go to combat. Okay. I'm going to declare attacks. Yeah. Uh, after attackers are declared, while I have priority, I'm going to activate this untap ability mm -hmm. to look at the top card of the library. I'm going to leave it there. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's too kind to you. 
uh, I'm going to exile uh, this ruined stalactite, which is a piece of equipment. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to combat here. Sure. We're going to go to damage. Any mm -hmm. effects? Uh, no. All right. You take combat damage. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. <clears throat> Draw a step. <clears throat> um, I'm going to cast Merc Strider. Uh, devoid creature. When it comes into play, I can put a card an opponent owns from exile uh, into that player's graveyard. If I do, return target creature to its owner's hand. So I have to. Yeah. So that rune stalactite will be put into your graveyard from exile, and I am going to return Enigma Sphinx to your hand. Okay. This is technically untapped. That's just a shortcut that people often do. Uh, go. All right. Upkeep, untap, sorry, un upkeep, no, untap, mm -hmm. upkeep. Mm -hmm. uh, on my upkeep, I'm going to draw a card and then discard a card. So mm -hmm. I've drawn a card. Uh, I very specifically don't want to, wait, maybe I do. What's on the other side of this? I'll decide if I want to discard a creature or not. Oh, that's fine. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So as we're doing this, I'm actually going to discard uh, the Enigma Sphinx mm -hmm. to it. So. If you discard a creature, untap it, and then transform it. Now, in a strad transform, this is the same entity. It has not been exiled. All right, anyways, we have a homicidal brute. At the beginning of your end step, if homicidal brute didn't attack, tap it, and then transform it. So this is untapped. We're still in my upkeep here. <clears throat> okay, now my main phase. Yeah. I'm going to equip Tapestry of the Ages to the Homicidal Brute. So you didn't draw. Good game. <laughs> uh, question, or, or a thing that was brought up in the chat. That Tapestry, mm -hmm. does it see itself yeah. as, as a card that was... So, like, can it, it can do its ability the first turn. Yeah, right. You. Oh, did I also you, lose that turn, too? Activate this ability only if you cast an on-creature spell this turn. Yes, I have cast an on-creature spell. So the Tapestry of the Ages, I should have lost the turn. I cast that, and I didn't draw a card off it. I noticed it in that turn, and I, I'm just too tired to <laughs> say it. I was just like, ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we got time for maybe one or two more. Sure. <laughs> Game loss from Wheeler. Seeing something, refusing to point it out. So today we've learned that Wheeler is pretty good at Judge's Tower, and my Blue Moon deck kind of slaps. Oh, good. I'm winning the one that's important. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Pharmacist Judge has seen something and refusing to point it out is usually a DQ. Uh, it's whatever. So really it was my win. <laughs> okay, great. Wow. This is the most beautiful hand I've ever seen, and I'm going to mulligan it. I'm going to keep this. All right, are you ready for this? Sure. Um, Inventor's Fair, Mox Diamond, mm -hmm. into just the, the most beautiful oh, winter orb. Tangle Wire, Trinisphere, Memory Jar, Planeswalker. Oh. Mm. Mm. C'est magnifique. Hurts. It hurts to send it back, you know? It hurts to send it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's my kind of magic. Where's my workshop when I need it? Yeah. Where's that, my that. turn one workshop Trinisphere, you know? Oh. What's a guy got to do? Play Vintage. Yeah, that's fair. I never have actually played, like, proper stacks, you know, like proper vintage stacks, like mud stacks, you know? It's fun for you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what does this hand do? Oh my god, it's Friday. 
Yeah? Okay. okay. I thought I thought it was Saturday. Oh Jesus. This is really uh No, Saturday's tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I mean my days have been messed up all all week because mm. of different street the different stream schedule. I don't know why you have how this joke doesn't work until I do this. I don't know why you use this art. You should use the fish art. It's oh much yeah? Better. Is it? Yeah. 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 Sometimes I just want to ponder some orbs. I sorry, I'm supposed to find this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you still resolving that ponder? Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess I saw them, so I should shuffle them in. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, keep, I was just gonna keep resolving it because I'm like, ah, I'm like whatever. I'm like, what are you doing? <clears throat> Let me find this island. Jesus Christ! Oh, you My... got a basic island. That's bad for yeah. surge. Yeah. I'm losing it. I'm losing <laughs> it. Right. No, no, no. Losing it implies I still have a little bit of it. I've lost it. Oh Christ. Oh, what a night. All right. Ponder. <laughs> uh, Late September 1963. I'm going to shuffle. That's fair. And likely pass the turn. We'll wait just in case. What if you go Mox Spell? Mm. Mox Dragon Rage Channeler. Ooh. Mox Monkey. Ooh, Gorilla Shaman. <laughs> Or the other kind of box monkey. Go. Um, wind swept heath mm -hmm. into. I'm gonna crack this. Either way. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think I want a. Go with greeny bluey. Tropical island. Would you call me? Tropical island. Hell axed. Tropical Island. I want to get off this wild ride. <laughs> Mr. Saunders Wild Ride. We've swapped decks. Now I am playing Blue Moon. <laughs> <laughs> now I am the workshop deck. How does it feel? So... Here's the problem I'm having. Mm -hmm. I have a cantrip and a, and a sensei's divining top. Mm -hmm. And I honestly don't know which one to sequence them into. Do you need spells or lands for your next couple of turns? Yeah, I have like more lands. He's probably cantrip first and then top, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, period. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do top bottom draw go. Do you even play basics in this deck? I have a basic island. Okay. <clears throat> Free Yeah. Copycat. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to keep both of these. That's scary. Uh, island, go. Ooh. Tower of Industry? I'm trying to remember if that's the name Spire of the card. Spire. Spire. I was like, it's tall. It's tall. Yeah. <laughs> um, tall of Industry. Yeah, it's tall and there's stuff happening at it. Map. Yep. Top. Mm -hmm. Pass. Magus of the moon. Go ahead. I don't have any basics. That's interesting. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a night. Doom, boom, boom. 
uh, before draw step, we are going to spin mm -hmm. that top. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, draw step. Mm -hmm. Going to play this basic mountain. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and crack the map. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go find ourselves a basic mm -hmm. of uh, some shape, color, or variety there. In uh, So I know you have a basic island. What other colors of basic do you have in this deck? Island. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm going to choose island. Okay. I wonder what what percentage of time in these games has have some blood moon effect been in play? Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. So I actually had an opportunity uh, to hang out with pharmacist judge, and we mm -hmm. jammed probably ninety minutes worth of games. And mm -hmm. I don't think I I think I died with it in hand one game. But I don't know if I really saw it ever. So it's so funny how in Highlander. There are games where they show up constantly, and there are games where they you never see them, right? Yeah. Some sometimes you'll put a new card in your deck, and you won't see it for months. Yeah, yeah. And then other times you'll just have like, I mean, in this it's the fact that there are technically two cards, and we're cantripping to see it all the time, you know? Or we're saying yes, if we see it on cantrips, we're likely to go like, yeah, I want that Magus of them. I want a cup of that Magus's piss. <laughs> so this is in my hand. Pass. Man, you ever expedition map for basic before? Feels good. Yeah, love feels, doing it. Feels good. Uh, play a mountain. Yeah. Do you? I'm um, 17. Crack a lack. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's scary. Uh, draw. Go. Don't like that for me. It's a two four. Two. Draw for the turn. Ooh. In honor of Judge's Tower, I refuse to use a die to actually. Well, for the sake of TV, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people do this in match. Do that's, you? Yeah, that's my like one dickhead pet peeve. Oh. <laughs> I should have probably worded that differently. But that's my one like pet peeve is like people using goif dice and match. It's like, no, no, <gasps> that doesn't use counters. Karn. Cyanaverza? Karn, Cyanaverza. Okay. Good Karn. I'm immediately going to minus two Karn to power of three to make a Karn struct, which is currently a 2-2. Two, two. two Karn Sam. Wait. What is your preferred way of representing it? Uh, like this. <laughs> just remembering it? Well, I mean, it's public information. Or just recalculating it each time? Yeah. They can keep asking me. I'm like, going to go ahead and <laughs> uh, and put a D6 on this construct to represent See, its current this is, power and yeah, toughness. Okay. Uh, go ahead. It's just too easy for people to misinterpret at times, too, which yeah. I don't like. What if you have the special counters that have all the permutations of Goyf's power and toughness. That's fine. Okay. I don't actually hate that. Okay. Oh, there's... there's a, Right, of course. You can buy Goyf only, die. Yeah, there's only a specific number of things that can happen for a Goyf. Oh. So, yeah. Jace the Mind Sculptor? Well, oh. I'm assuming this is the line here. Yeah, I'm going to bounce yeah, it. Yeah, bounce it. Bounce better, it. Clear Karn? Uh, yes. Oh. Jace Mind oh. Sculptor, better than all, asterisk. Yeah. And then Oko, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. Neat. Karn, the great creator. Go ahead. Untap, 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 upkeep, spin and tops. I'd like to give my pet peeve of Minsk and Boo. The only magic card ever printed that has an ampersand in the title. Yeah. Which messes up online things. Yeah. <laughs> Web based things. Didn't think you could have ampersands in the titles of cards, so I had to go through and uh uh encode yeah. a bunch of and, my uh, and thank you so much inputs. for doing it you <laughs> saved me so much time uh, <laughs> i'm gonna play this verdant catacomb and pass <clears throat> draw yep uh brainstorm i respond this is maybe the only way i stay in this game hull breacher uh breacher resolves oh i'm gonna uh, stomp oh. the hull breacher <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm probably dead, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't okay. know how I come back from that. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I had uh, three fairy as well, Ooh. but if I play three fairy, it just gets cleared. So I need mm -hmm. kind of, well, I also don't have a white source. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was hoping that's my one chance back in, is the card advantage of, like, I get three treasure tokens, which fixes all my colors for me, mm -hmm. and then you're down two cards. 
This Blue Moon deck seems pretty good. Dude, this Blue Moon deck, not bad. Um, how much, what, what time are we at, Paul? Well, uh, we are almost at uh, 7.30. We're just, uh... I'd like to propose a best of three of Judge's Tower. And then call it a night? And then call it a night. I agree. All the marbles, everything you've seen prior to tonight is meaningless. This is for the Loading Ready Run presents best magic player in the moon base. Okay. Victoria, Canada, is the stakes too low? Best magic player on earth. How about this? Okay. Whoever wins gets to call themselves the premier lands pilot <laughs> of the format. No! Okay, actually, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. For the next year. Okay. Yeah, okay. this for is 2023. The, the stakes are the oh, 2023 Premier Magic uh, the, the Lands premier Pilot. The Premier Lands Pilot of the format. Of the format, yeah. yeah. And okay. the format being just yeah, the format tower. Being, damn it, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. I mean, I'll yeah, I'll do that. Premier Lands Pilot of the format. Judge's Tower. <laughs> High judge. stakes indeed. All right. Um, I lost, which means you play first. Doesn't that mean that you... No, I play first, you draw yeah. first. Yeah. Void with... Essence scatter. <laughs> Pass. Draw some. Uh, moon ring mirror. Whenever you draw a card, remove the top card of your library from the game face down. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove your hand from the game face down. If you do, put your hand and all other cards you own removed with from the game with Moon Ring. I, okay. I'm so glad. Go ahead. So glad that's a you problem. Go ahead. All right. Uh, draw a step. Yep. Oh, you countered my first Eldrazi, but what about my second Eldrazi? No! Ruin Processor. Seven mana, seven, eight. Uh, when you cast it, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile into their graveyard if you do gain five life. Okay. Pass. Uh, draw a step. I draw this card. I have a triggered ability. Uh, I remove the top card of my library from the game face down. Let me draw a card, exile the top card of your library from the face down. Beginning of your upkeep, you may exile all cards from your hand face down if you do put all cards you own. Okay. Um, I am going to cast Jeskai Infiltrator. So it can't be blocked as long as I control no other creatures. When it deals combat damage to a player, I exile it in the top card of my library face down. I shuffle that pile, then I manifest those cards. Uh, go ahead. Miss the upkeep trigger? There was nothing There's to do. There's nothing to do. There's yeah, no yeah, cards in yeah, hand. There's yeah. also no cards underneath yeah. it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm like, I'm okay with not acknowledging triggers that don't do yeah, anything. Yeah, there's no action for me to take. All right, uh, draw a step. Main phase. Oh, no. No. Rush of Knowledge. Oh, yeah. Draw oh, cards yeah. equal to the highest converted mana cost amongst permanents you control. I have to draw seven? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, no. Uh, five mana draw seven. That seems pretty good. It's pretty strong. Oh, no. You like <laughs> drawing cards. The saddest I've ever seen a magic player when they're drawing seven cards. Oh no, how could this happen? Oh, I have to draw a fresh seven. Okay. I am going to start by casting Fecundity. And I'm gonna hold priority. And I'm going to cast Controvert to counter it. Okay. When a creature is put into your, it has recover. Uh, when a creature is put into your graveyard from play, you may pay blue. That if you do, return this card to your graveyard. Otherwise, remove it from the game. If you can, you must. Yeah. That sucks. Okay. Now hold on. Let me just make sure there's nothing else I want to do on the stack right now. This is all fine. Okay. Next order of business. Next order of business. I'm going to cast Perilous Mirror. Yep. 
Apparently the simulator is going to resolve. I'm going to cast Processor Assault. As an additional cast to cost Processor Assault, put a card an opponent owns from exile into their graveyard. So I'm going to take the card that's under your artifact, mm -hmm. put it into the graveyard, and I'm going to deal five damage to Perilous Mirror. Okay. Perilous Mirror is going to die. I'm going to do two damage to you. As this dies, I also have the recover ability in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pay that to put Controvert back into my hand. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. I need to make sure everything is being done in the right order here. So I'm dealing five damage. Mm -hmm. Yes, to Perilous Mirror. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> dealing five damage to Perilous Mirror. Mm -hmm. Processor Assault is going to resolve. Okay. State-based actions are going to kill Perilous Mirror. Mm -hmm. I've got a Controvert trigger in my graveyard. I'm going to pay four to return Controvert to my hand. Mm -hmm. I think I actually made it through there properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Next up, I'm yeah. going to cast Fool's Tome. You forgot your Perilous Mirror trigger. Oh no! <laughs> I had it! I had it! Yeah. Oh, I had it and then I backed up because I realized I wasn't there yet. And then I yep. missed it on the second playthrough. Oh man, I was doing so well. I was down to only two more cards in hand. Alright. That's the first game. Christ. Pass. Draw. I'm going to cast Drastic Revelation. Uh, I discard my hand, then draw seven cards, and then discard three at random. <laughs> Woo! Is this good? Resolves. I'll discard Swerve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, can we both just draw sevens on our own turn and see if we can make it through? Okay. Uh, do we have a D8? I have a D12, so sure. we'll reroll on 8 or higher. Yeah. 1, 7, mm -hmm. 2, get that one. And then on D6s. 1, 6. Yeah. And then we'll reroll on 6. Reroll on 6. Okay. <clears throat> anything with graveyard abilities or anything relevant in the graveyard no. there? No. Okay. 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 Oh, so you only had to draw four. Easy mode. Shit. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cast a Mortal Coil. So this card actually has the last line of text removed because it causes you to lose the game for a thing. Oh, but, okay. okay. Um, yeah, notice it's sharpied out on the... Yeah, yeah. tap to remove two cards in your graveyard from the game draw card. If damage would be dealt to me, prevent that damage. Remove a card from my graveyard for each one prevented. Um, so I'm going to play this. I'm going to tap, remove uh, these two cards from my graveyard from the game <clears throat> to draw a card. Uh, that on the stack, I'm going to cast Perilous Research. Uh, draw two cards, then sacrifice a permanent. Okay. Oh, shit. No, you get, no, the, order, you get no. the order wrong? No, because this is an additional cost. So I'm supposed to cast this, hold priority, cast this. I'm dead. Because it's just draw to sack a permanent. So I could have cast this and then held priority by casting this. Because I don't have to actually sack it as a part of the cost. Oh, yes. as part of the cost. There yes. we understand. Yep. One right, one. Great, great. One one. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, they uh, really like processors in this uh, in this. You can go first. Uh, flesh mad steed. What does that do? Whenever another <clears throat> creature dies, tap it. Okay. Go ahead. Draw a step. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, we're still in my draw step. Mm -hmm. Bit miss blast, targeting mm -hmm. four damage, targeting your thing. Sure. Cascade trigger, cascading into a Neko Tay artifact equipment. Whenever an equipped creature deals damage to a creature, whenever an equipped creature deals damage to a creature, tap that creature. As long as Neko Tay remains in play, that creature doesn't untap during its uncontrol or untap step. Whenever equipped, creature, whenever equipped creature deals damage to a player, that player loses one life. Okay. Okay, so we'll cast this. Mm -hmm. May if you may you have to. Uh, mm -hmm. This is going to deal four damage to your creature. Sure. 
This is going to resolve. Die. <clears throat> All right. Main phase. Treasury thrall. I have mm -hmm. extort now. <laughs> Whenever it attacks, yeah. you may return target artifact, uh. creature, or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. I'd like to equip the Nekote onto it. Mm -hmm. Pass. <clears throat> Draw. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, draw step. Okay. Um, main phase, I'm going to cast this <laughs> extort trigger. So this is Shaka's minion. Three mana, two, two. Tap, deal two damage to target white creature. Whenever equipped creature deals damage to a creature... Tap that creature. As long as it remains in play, that creature doesn't untap. Whenever a quick creature deals damage to a player, that player loses one life. I'm going to go to attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, I have an attack trigger here. I have no relevant targets in my graveyard. I'm going to deal four damage to you. And mm -hmm. now that I've dealt combat damage to you, <clears throat> I have a triggered ability to have you lose one life. Okay. Pass. Did you re-equip this? Lose. Okay. <laughs> You have to you have to re-equip equipment every round. Every yeah. yeah, yeah, every yeah. If if there's an I mean there's another target to do. so. Oh man! <laughs> you want to do another one or you want? Yeah, to one more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but if I win, then we have to do the tiebreaker. Okay. Um. So you're going first. Yeah. Messenger Drake. Mm -hmm. Pass. Draw. In my draw step, I'm going to cast even the odds. I can play it only mm. if I control fewer creatures than each opponent. I put three soldiers into play. I played this in Canadian Highlander. Heck yeah. Instant speed, timely reinforcement. Seems good against elves and goblins. Go. <sighs> draw step. Um, I'm going to cast, <clears throat> oh, this is my main phase. I'm going to cast Sudden Disappearance, targeting me. Exile all non-land permanent target player controls. Mm -hmm. Return the exiled cards to the battlefield under their beginnings, owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. So combat. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go to my end step. Mm -hmm. This is going to enter the battlefield. Okay. Pass. <clears throat> Draw. Uh, I'm going to play uh, Melitus Charlatan. I can pay three and tap it. The controller of target instant or sorcery copies it. That player may choose new targets for the copies. Uh, attack. I will block one of them. One of them dies. Go oh, ahead. Take two damage. All, All right. right. Draw step. Excuse me. Main phase. Uh, I'm going to cast... Snake Umbra. Mm -hmm. Targeting one of your 1-1s. One okay. I'd like to go to combat, mm -hmm. attack you for three in the air. I take three. Oh, I still control it, so I still have to draw the cards. Uh, no, it says the equipped creature? creature gets whenever this Oh, creature... the equipped creature gets it. Amazing. Yeah. I still control the Ember, but you have the ability. Correct. Amazing. Uh, pass. <clears throat> draw. Uh, oh. This is from... These are from the last game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm going to cast Pull from the Deep. Uh, return up to one target instant and up to one target sorcery from my graveyard to my hand. Exile Pull from the Deep. I'm going to hold priority and copy this. Um, the only target is even the odds. Mm -hmm. So the copy goes on the stack, also targeting even the odds. The copy is going to resolve, returning even the odds. This no longer has legal targets, so it uh, doesn't resolve, meaning that it doesn't get exiled. Um, combat for three. Damage Blocks. trigger. Yep. Um, go. Go ahead. You forgot to cast it with the original still in the stack. What? I'm, I think I, I can't cast it. No, it doesn't yeah, work. I'm not going to worry about yeah, chat. Yeah, don't worry about them. 
All right, upkeep, draw step. Cool, let's do the same trick again. I'm gonna cast Dirty, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. I'm gonna respond. Okay, so I have Dirty, tar it doesn't target me. Yes, uh, Dirty is targeting sudden disappearance in my graveyard. I'm gonna cast Wild Ricochet. Mm -hmm. I can choose new targets for target instant or sorcery spell, then copy that spell, and I may choose new targets for the copy. Okay, so... so um, I, there are no uh, new targets for you, but my copy is going to return my <laughs> pull from the deep. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to cast Sudden Disappearance targeting myself. Okay. This is going to go into exile. I'd like to go to my end step. This is going to re-enter play. Uh, do you have to fuse? What, uh, whatever. I think you have to fuse. You it. have to fuse? Yeah. You technically have to do everything on the card. Oh, so I lose. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Great. Great. Ah! I also didn't flicker the aura that I owned, so I would have lost there too. This is like the perfect format for just letting Twitch feel so powerful with the backseating. <laughs> It's I mean, like perfect for that, right? I was thinking that it would be um, when uh, you know mix mixer. Their big thing was that like was super low latency uh, for streams, right? Mm. Like they, and I was thinking what you, something fun you could or something you could try to do there is like play judges tower against the chat. <laughs> hey, farmers. <laughs> Pharmacist Judge, to be fair, that was an issue of the rules for Judge's Tower, not the rules of magic. Thank you very much. Also, uh, here's a... How about this? Uh, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> how about this? I, my brain is so fried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe two hours ago, <laughs> as it is right now, though. God, I'm so tired. Yeah, I... Oh, All my right. God. Oh, well, just minor, just uh, minor. Uh, so, so. Also, we should DQ everybody in chat for outside interference. Yeah. Judges Tower, um, a, as a method for uh, choosing who goes first, better or worse than uh, rolling dice. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Yes. <laughs> You're not allowed to use games of skill. Yeah, I mean that we yeah, should be like, DQ'd from that. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> like the, very beginning, very beginning. As soon as we start playing Judges Tower to see who uh, goes first, yeah. we've technically I, already both lost. I had proxies in my deck. Yeah. That's already a big no no. Like Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> We're powerful. Hey, we should uh we should take this out. Yes. Hey, let's. Everybody, thank you so 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 much. Uh, for joining us for whatever this... For the last Friday Night Paper Fight of 2022, it's been an amazing year of magic. Thank you for joining us for this whole journey. Uh, I can't wait to look forward to what we're doing. If you want to see us playing good magic, on Wednesday, another episode of North 100 Showdown just went live. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that show is really cool and good, and I have been just absolutely blown away by all the support and nice things that people have said about it, so go check that out. A uh, reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you with your support over the Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. You're literally the reason we can do all of this. Uh, so thank you. The Friday Night Paper Fight is sponsored by the wonderful people at Card Kingdom, cardkingdom.com slash LRR. It's affiliate code. If you want to torture your friends and buy your own Judge's Tower, you can look at the singles and Pay check like it out there. Pay like $20, get this, whatever this is. <laughs> And ruin so many evenings. Oh, so many friendships. God, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good time. Um, also, you know, if you're looking for other ways to support us, we've also got a store, store.loadingreadyrun.com. We've got great merch. I'm actually wearing some of our great merch right now. Um, we started making, like, cool sleeves and shirts and water bottles and play mats. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. But either way, uh, from all of us to you, Happy New Year. Uh, there, there's technically one more stream after this, but, you know, if you only watch our magic content, thank you. You're all a delight, and we will see you next time.